Also. How's it going? <lacht> I just got finished playing Dragon's Dogma, hopped on my phone, <laughs> saw a little live notification thing, can't escape it. Yeah. Today might be a little different, I'm not sure. So, I wanted to change vocations first, and then my game crashed, I remember that much. Fuck. Uh, yeah, today might be a little different, I'm not really sure, we'll see. Well met, sir. Greetings. Here, we conduct all manner of procedures. I don't really remember what I was doing. Getting these, that's for sure. And I think I was looking through these skills, yeah. I got this one. Draw and core is fine. I think I'll just leave it like that. We can get diligence. And I don't know if I I think this is fine. Yeah. Wanted to change to It's a fighter. We're gonna have Fang be with Not sure really. I guess I can have him do thief more, because that's what I did before. We say the word. We just swap those. effectively swapped. <laughs> a vocation well chosen. I mean, Fang is a max level fighter. Good evening, sir. I... Oh man, I have a lot of food or er, drinks. Those are stamina items. So yeah, I took an edible like, I don't know, an hour and a half ago. It's starting to take effect. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, look at that, near empty. Half full. Fueled. Trust you. Well, shit. Maybe they just get dimmer, they don't like actually go out. I'm not really sure. Um, let's they use right some oil, and see how much we get. To find. If it's a full restore or not. To so have near empty fuel. Yeah, it's a full restore. Might as well give it to Fangs as well. Let's go sell. Oh. <laughs> The shops are still open, right? I mean, of course they are. It's a video game, right? But it's kind of funny because it's... How late is it right now? The game focuses on... Well met, sir. Um realism, like... In other ways, but... Not this, I guess. Well, it, it makes things... Come again. Incon or, uh, inconvenient well met, sir. for the sake of realism in some ways, but then... But then it's... Strangely convenient that we can just... How might I be of service? Do come again. You know, buy and sell whenever we please. Is this fucking note again? Why do they keep telling me about this stupid note? I've already read it. So. 
There's also rapiers that we have, but like, as far as I'm aware, they're like more damage, but less knockdown. And I don't know if that really matters. At least for fighter, because you can always just use shield bash and like other shit, right? I don't know. I think it also affects like staggering enemies, so I don't really want to do that. I still want to be able to stagger enemies. We were doing... Oh, there's that. Well, might as well, might as well get on with the main story. Probably unlock some more stuff going that way. I always, I always have a problem with that in these types of games. Like I'll, I'll focus so much on the side content because I'll want to, I want to do as much as I possibly can, because I guess I'm, maybe like subconsciously I'm like, thinking about like Stalker's Shadow of Chernobyl or like Fallout Three where. Um, without mods, once you beat the game, the the game ends, you know? Despite the game up to that point being this open world experience where your character's constantly improving. And, you know, f f uh, follow Fallout 4. Um, you follow me. Oh, she's gonna let me, let me in again? Well, at least I look cool now. Hey, Hetty. How far are we in history? What? I don't know. Middle Ages? Middle Ages? Middle Ages? Is that what they call it? Middle Ages? I guess that makes sense, right? Because, I mean... Well, it doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> how many how many fucking years have humans been alive? The Middle Ages is... Modern history, you know what I mean? Anyways. Whatever. This place again. Tis best pray, be cautious. Do I need to disguise myself again? Hope for not, because I don't have it. And it's not in this chest now. I'm gonna walk in like I fucking own the place, dude. Have you heard the news? The new <laughs> this reminds me of, of Thief a lot. I mean, it's a castle, so you're already 90% of the way there, aren't you? Man, they, these guards are fucking... <laughs> I got to Vern with and haven't even talked to the guy who tells you to meet him at the tavern at night. Yeah, see, that's the... I did actually talk to him, and I, I like doing that. I like playing games like this, like on stream, because it makes me focus on the main story. Because if I was just playing alone, I probably wouldn't even have talked to him either, honestly. And that's that's that sucks, because <laughs> a lot of the cool shit happens in the main story, I'm sure. Right? Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Um, fuck. Uh... <laughs> I, for I forgot what we were talking about. <laughs> Sorry. I uh, found a cool village filled with a bunch of elven people. Yeah, yeah, me too. It's cool, man. Where the fuck am I going? Um. Oh, no. <laughs> it doesn't open from out here. I guess I that, that makes a lot of sense, actually. If you're outside and you want to get back in, you just call your tell your servant to open the door, right? Or whatever. Anyway. Um, yeah, like in Skyrim and shit, if I was playing alone, like, I'll probably stream it eventually, but if I was playing alone, what the fuck? Oh. Then I would have, I would be sidetracked to, to no end, and even then, like, sometimes I'd be like, oh, you know what, I'm gonna make this character specifically to be a mage and do the mage quest line, so I can see what that's about. I'll get, like, halfway through it, maybe, and I'll fucking get sidetracked. To be fair, though, the mage, mage's guild quest line's kind of slow and boring and i fucking hate the intro where the guy's like wow that's so cool man i wonder what this is like i get that mages are supposed to have inquisi inquisitive minds but dude you sound like a fucking baby like a toddler who just woke up crawled into this goddamn room oh wow am i making any sense did you catch the part where i said i was i was a little i was a little fried at the moment i need to go upstairs right that's what i'm doing I feel like I'm making a lot of sense, but I could just be yapping as well. This is the fucking Demon Souls area. Hold on. Right? Is that just me? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the stairs and the pillars and there's Stockpile Jim or whatever the fuck his name is. Dude, why does my brain work so well? <laughs> I've... Never mind. I've, I've played Demon Souls for like three hours in total. I don't know what his name is. I'm not making any sense. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? My chat's broken. 
What the? Oh, I'm not actually in the stream? No, I am. What? Uh, I'm using my phone. You're not making any sense, but do keep going. Thank you. We do enjoy a, a little yapping. Does anyone else have that problem on mobile? Where the heart is blocking the end of the messages? <laughs> I would not presume to know, my lord. This guy looks like the guy that... At the beginning of the game, doesn't it? Like the the guy that was getting you from your cell. However, it must I had Taco Bell earlier. I had Taco Bell earlier, dude. And I almost forgot how fucking good the Baja Blast is. Like, it's... What the hell, man? It's very good. Um, the food is so damn salty. And the drink, like, I just want... <laughs> put that shit in my veins. I just wanted to, like... You ever get that feeling when you're drinking something and you're like, this tastes so good and it's, like, refreshing or whatever that you just want to keep drinking it and not stop? Alright, is that weird? <laughs> Wait, oh shit! No! Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Oops. I hope Snifty's still here. I did not mean to click that. I was- Okay, look, man. I'm on my phone and I'm trying to scroll through chat and, like, it pulls down the chat instead of letting me scroll. Maybe because I haven't had enough to scroll. And I think- And I clicked on someone's name on accident and I didn't think I pushed anything, but I pushed the- The fucking ban button. <laughs> I'm really sorry, Snifty. Accidents happen. That's why- That's how I got here. Oh, perhaps the boy. Has finally grown wise to the <laughs> I did not mean to, <laughs> to do that. Hopefully it didn't like... He might just be his <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, Snifty. I hope you're still here. But at least he Shit. <laughs> good for him. Well. Accidental murder. Poor man. Look, I, I, I attempted re revival. Oh man, imagine you're just fucking hanging out and you're just like, Man, this game's funny. Haha. <laughs> and then you just, <laughs> you just get fucking banned. <laughs> like... Let me, let me go to my ban appeals and like some of the other like big streamers do and they're just like <laughs> Snifty! I don't think I'm banned so we're good. So there's a thing where you can it's not called banning in this in on in this game and on this on YouTube it's called hide this user from your channel. <laughs> so it, but yeah, it's basically banning. <laughs> That's funny. Sorry about that. Anyways, um I think they're talking about Sven, right? M my lord, if someone were to overhear. Oh, unring your hands, you fool! I wish I could go through the chat like history. That's what I was assuming that this system was doing, showing me like the last line. Also, I tried Wild Hearts. It works really well, or well enough. And um, it's what a fucking shame, right? Because the gameplay is fantastic, and like. I'm not good at the game, and I couldn't really get good at the game because I was playing at like 20 FPS, but I'm pretty sure the gameplay revolves, well obviously, it revolves around the, the Karakuri? Uh, like the stuff that you build, and it's such a cool system, dude! Like I think some of your most powerful attacks are done from those, uh, those buildings, and like it feels weird at first just to build while you're fighting or to use that resource, but it's really easy to get, but like, your moveset is basically... 50% on foot and then 50% with the buildings. That's fucking cool, dude. Like what? They implemented it like in such an interesting way and it's it's well done. Too bad they fucking can't optimize where this shit Koei Tecmo. Sorry. What do we As if anyone is <laughs> Oh, anyways, I'll play that eventually sooner than sooner rather me. than later. Now, if Let's listen to what Alfred has to say. Tell her to await me in my chambers. I know that's not return presently. his actual name. Wilhelm Wilhelmina? Are you kidding me? You can't just take a male name and add Ina to it. Like da Davida Davida da Davidina <laughs> Mark Markina. I don't know. You can't just do that. Oh, I'm just fucking hanging out over here. Was that in here? <laughs> Recognize. Oh, did they catch me? Oh, they sure did. That's funny. Ah, well, I am gonna be put in jail. I, I was half expecting that not to happen. I don't know why. Nice. Yeah, I know. I have a key though, right? 
Yeah, but like, do I need it? I don't. <laughs> Where's my shit, though? I'm pretty sure it's like in a chest. What? The hell? Jeez. And yeah, I can go out, come out this way, but that doesn't explain where my shit is. Oh, fuck off. I'm still a thief, but I can't use anything. I can break into this cell. I don't think that does anything. Wait, wait, what? Also, I'm not a thief. I'm a fucking fighter still. Is this considered escaped where I'm standing? That's ridiculous, but at least I know, I guess, that you get your shit back. And it's daytime. You got a free night's sleep. That's a net win in my book. A free night's sleep. Oh, he's. <laughs> um. Imagine how fucked up things have to be for you to say a free night's sleep. Sleeping. The, one of the most basic of human necessities. And if you want to do it safely or in any amount of comfort, you have to pay for it. The fuck is that about? Sorry. Just. That sucks, you know? In other news, I'm a homeowner in this game. So get fucking erect. Plebeian peasants. I'm gonna go rest to the, in my in my house. I might wait till it's nighttime so I can commit more thievery and debauchery, and also I'm fucking lost. Wait, some common. Oh, it's a house icon now. I, I'm looking for a banner. Oh, because it's because I need a mattress. Lol. Joke makes no sense. Where did I even get all this shit? I mean, I. Whatever. Don't 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 worry about it. Uh, did you guys pick up anything? Why are you so heavy? Eh. Sorry. What's going on? Um, I don't know. Did something happen? Holy shit, how far back is the stream? Oh, that's that's what's going on. I wonder if anything's causing that or if that's just uh Yeah. Hey Ponji. So I believe There we go. Oh. What the fuck? Get <laughs> your chat. Okay. Oh. What's their pawn? Goth mommy. You know? I mean... You know what? Maybe the kids will be alright. So my my connection took a shit and I believe it's now trying to catch up. And I don't know how that works. Oh, I think we're I think we're getting I think we're back. We're so back. Yeah, sorry about that. Sometimes that happens, there's nothing I can do about it. Um I need to go around up here. I think they just said I can bribe the guards if, if I get caught or something. Wanna know a fun fact? You had a house in Dragon's Dogma 1 but couldn't rest in it. You had to use and pay for the inn. It was like too far away from your house. I think I remember that. Or I'd, maybe I don't. Because I, I only played like a little bit of it. 
Because, like, you do, like, live somewhere, right? In the first town where everyone calls you cousin. You would think you'd hear someone sprinting down the hallway. You'd be like, the fuck's going on? Like my footsteps should be like echoing on these walls, right? So that door leads outside, which will... Oh, right, I need to take the... That seems like a guard tower. I think I need to take these spiral staircases, right? Wait, where the fuck am I? Oh, this is a different objective, I think. Is this one outside? Do I actually need to go out? Oh, this is not... Oh, this is the... Okay. Now I need to go up. I thought that door led outside. It did seem weird that it would, but... I just remember going out the, the big double doors and not being able to go back in. Just talking to myself. Hello, I'm sneaking. That's how bad the, the stealth is in this game. Man. Hmm. Golly gee, I wonder I wonder what could be in here. Oh the window's open. No! <sighs> Jesus, dude. Whatever. <laughs> oh no, look, it's Batali again. Surely none more important. Are you fucking kidding me? I speak of the ascension of the sovereign. Oh. Indeed. But that, your grace, would be better discussed in the presence of your mother. Wait, is Stream dead? No, we're still here, right? No, we're not. Did Stream die? What the fuck? No, we're still going, right? Yeah. Why is... Okay, I think... <sighs> My, my phone, like, disconnected, which probably disconnected other people, but we're still here, so if you're still here, then hello. That's annoying. YouTube is annoying sometimes. And OBS is, uh, you know. I was, like, Croc sneaking around. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Oh. I was gonna say, uh, like, if I get caught by Sven again, then something's going on. You oh, are you fucking kidding me? You know what sucks too is because he's talking, you can't. Nice, you can't actually dash or jump because those buttons will make him, you know, skip his text or dialogue. So it's like they fucking cuck you so that you can't get. If you get caught off guard, then you're like scrambling. Oh no, you don't. You're. Okay. Again, I was trying to sprint and it wouldn't let me because that fucker was talking. I don't care. What just, business have you hit just another annoying fucking button overlap in this problem in this game, unfortunately. Like, sprinting and picking up items. It's just, uh, unfortunately, controllers only have so many buttons and it really sucks and, you know. On PC, you, you could have separate buttons for picking up and sprinting and talking. Like, all separate buttons <laughs> if you really wanted to. On a keyboard, but sucks. Jesus! Oh right, fucking flashbang, dude. Does anyone know the science behind dry, dry mouth? It doesn't make any sense. I thought it was from the smoke, but it's not. Oh, I need to talk to Bart. <laughs> Tell me what you know. You have my fullest confidence. Really? Oh, do I need to wait for him to. 
Oh, I don't need to go here, do I? Much we ought to tend to. Oh, I do. If we are to strengthen your Majesty's claim, <laughs> you know this sigil well. Hey, Manuel. Tis the crest of the neighboring country of Batal, a land with which Vermin has no official dealings at present. Let me see. It's all politics. It reads, true to our word, we offer you the power of the Godsway. What? Pray make haste in securing Melv. That Jeez. all might be made ready ere our plans are set in motion. A meager clue, to be certain. Though, it is clear that the Queen Regent conspires with Batal. This does not bode well at all. Though the political situation is stable at present, much blood has been spilt between Vermin and his neighbor in the past. Of course. I fear such a partnership would only portend the drawing of more. At any rate, to seem our search has led us to only more questions. Chief among them, what is meant by securing Melv and this God's way? I will investigate these matters as best I can. In the interim, your majesty, should you have time to spare, might you make for Melv? Again. Only once <laughs> we have gleaned a fragment of the Queen Regent's plot, can we begin to thwart it? And ere it slips my mind, pray, take this. The chance it will help speed you on your way to Melv. What? Wow, that's fucked up. What, is he calling me fat or something? Telling me to lose weight? Okay, try to get to Melv. Also, this might help you. Fatty. <laughs> like, what the fuck, dog? Why is this asshole still here? Oh, I can jump off people? I can grab them and then just jump. <laughs> oh, this is... You should not have let me know this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good job. Great. Fantastic. Video games are hard. Um... They don't even give you a quest for it. That's crazy. Like, what if I get lost? Right? Or do I do I, I go to Melv? Right? I don't need to like talk to to Brant first. This I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Dude, I hate this guy's face. Holy shit! Some of these NPCs are just offensive. Oops. No, I, I always think this is gonna be like automated. I do appreciate being able to trigger when I want to, but... Right, I'm not invincible anymore. I gotta actually try this time. Never mind, I don't. What if I just sat back down? Oh, I can't. He just walked up and up smashed, except he didn't up smash. Yeah, that's really what I'm asking. Why the fuck? We're back here fighting, dog. Don't abandon us. Alright, time to honk shoe. Fire effects, yeah. I turned my graphics back up because, you know, I can actually get a stable frame rate now, which is. I'm still kind of shocked about it that it all worked for now. Despite the game crash, You're or not meant to be in here. what? <laughs> what? Halt! Who goes there? This village is under the direct oh. authority of Her Grace, the Queen Regent. We are to grant no unknown person's entry. I'm about to fucking kill you. Offer a bribe? Off with you then. Wait, what? I thought this was a, a plot point. We gotta go in here, right? Like, what the... Fuck you guys. I'm about to throw motherfuckers off this cliff. Extortion ass. What the fuck? Leonard is over here, yeah? 
What? That's Hello? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? This is more than I can bear. This is more than I can bear. I'm not sure what. Halt, I say! I should get a health bar. Uh oh. Why do we hear boss music? Why don't you let me jump through windows? My lantern's on. Okay, he's probably in Ulrika's house, or... I guess Ulrika doesn't exist here anymore. Well met. Glad to what? see you in good health. Oh, fuck. The tyranny of the Queen Regent's faction knows no bounds. Passage into and out of the... Yeah, I could tell. Restricted, ...and we're being treated as slaves. Yeah, I could tell. I had intended to endure it till Ulrika returned to us. But I fear the villagers have already reached their limit. Well, I've got some bad news. I'll be honest with you, as you've earned my trust. Oh. We have a mind to leave this village Pog. for good. You should go to Harv. Harv is cooler. It's got r lizard people. The dragon's flame has devastated the land. Yeah, literally. Many for some reason. Many of the question whether it is worth attempting to restore it. I mean, this could this could just play into what Diso wants, right? When I mentioned or whatever. Much in a letter I had smuggled to Ulrika, <laughs> she told me that the village she's staying in would be glad to take us in. Right. The only problem is how we're going to get past the soldiers. Mm. They've confiscated all weapons to forestall our escape. That sucks. Perhaps if we could reclaim the stolen weapons or find a means of procuring <coughs> some in hey, you, Kaiju, we could gone? force our way out through strength of arms. Alas, we villagers are kept under constant watch. It would be unwise for us to attempt aught on our own. You are our only hope in this matter. Arar. Pray. Arar. You are our. You are our only hope. Arar. <laughs> Arar. <laughs> Arar. What? Home is where the hearth is. Shut the fuck up. It's crazy. Those are bars. What? What do I need? How are you faring? Have you been? Oh, are you kidding me? I. Oh my God. Your Fucking. Choice to make. Oh. Uh, go back to the starter town and buy. Fucking fifty-one gold swords and throw it in his face. Well, if I were confiscating weapons and shit, I'd put it either like in the guardhouse or like. But that wouldn't make sense because it's right next to them. Maybe like in the ruins? I wouldn't that would suck though. Maybe they rebuilt hey, I've not forgotten what you did. Oh, yeah. Helping me save my brother. Our weapons are being kept <gasps> in yon storeroom. With those cowards stationed in and around it day and night. Say, mayhap we could distract them. Then someone could slip in and This is just um who are those two dudes? It was two of them, right? Were they like twins or whatever? Okay, I'm thinking of Harry Potter, but those two. Remember the twins from Harry Potter, but also the... Wasn't there two of them from, uh, from fucking Lord of the Rings, right? Not Sam and Frodo, but like there's other ones, the other hobbits. Or maybe I'm just... No, yeah, there's like skinny twink dudes, right? From Lord of the Rings. Not, not big bear types like fucking Sam. I guess Frodo's a twink, huh? And Leg Legolas <laughs> and and Aragorn. Are you mad? <laughs> We're villagers. No match for trained soldiers. But I'm gonna stop talking. I suppose someone's so happy to today. Uh I wouldn't go that far, man. But Alright. How's this? We'll draw the guards' attention, giving you a chance to sneak in and get our weapons back. These are just fucking. That's Aragorn because of his clothes, right? And then this is Sam. <laughs> Sam <laughs> and his facial hair. Sam and Aragorn from Lord of the Rings. You'll do it then? Right! You wait here. We'll have him away from his post in a trice. Just you watch. Isn't Aragorn like son of a king or something? And that's why he's able to like lead a bunch of undead? I don't know anything about Lord of the Rings or. Cimbrillion or Hobbit what or whatever. Do you think you're doing here? I played the Hobbit on, I think it was Game Bo GameCube. 
It was honestly a really cool game. I remember sneaking around Smog's Smog 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 his like gold and stuff and trying not to wake him up. This is all before the movie, so I didn't. I, I don't know. It was just a really cool game. I didn't know it was a book series. Um, so when I saw that part in like the the new movie, I was like, "Whoa! It's like it's like when I was playing the game. It was really cool." But I'd never actually seen the Hobbit movie. <laughs> I just know about it. You know what I mean? What's that other game where you play as some guy named Max? I think. And, like, if you get damaged, uh, your armor, like, comes off. <laughs> and, like, you're wearing heart underwear. S something like the Armies of Darkness versus Maximilian or Maxwell or some shit. I don't remember. Um, it was an interesting game. It was pretty cool, though. It was also That was on Xbox, I think, or maybe GameCube. I don't know. Halt! <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? He was <laughs> no dancing in the street. Why did they both come out? Why, why the fuck did the dude <laughs> run out? He's like, I want some of this. Motherfucker was just in here, and he hears someone say halt, and he runs out because he wants to beat some ass. Cool, I got three trusty swords, which is just rusty with T at the beginning of it, and then I got a normal sword for the main guy. Great. Or maybe, maybe. Hmm. Maybe I go across the street to Krusty Burger and buy some swords and pass them off on my own. Delightfully devilish Seymour. Does that does that land? Does that joke land? <laughs> does that? <laughs> All right. <laughs> what the fuck are they doing over there? How are you faring? Have you been able to procure any weapons for us? Yes. Oh, come on. Here's the iron sword, so you can take that one. You can have the... the give the shitters the trusty swords. Because I think they're bad. You've reclaimed our weapon. Well done, sir. Yeah, those dudes I'm in the back. The Who the fuck is that? Why? He's... Alright. This is like the autistic Giga Chad, like... Barbarian. Uh... Guts character. He was staring against the wall when I first came in, and I came back, and he's still doing that. But he's probably, like, insanely powerful. He's gonna kill the Demon King. He's just autistic. Does that make any sense? <laughs> My thanks. I'd wager we stand a fighting chance now. The time has come to leave this village behind. Mountain Blade looking ass NPCs. Oh, shit. I was gonna go next right when I- I've got <coughs> you cornered, rat. Oh my god, they were ready for us. Um, holy shit. I, okay, let's see. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright. Don't fret, I've got you. With me! Oh, this is brutal. <laughs> Impale. Take my impale. It's delicious. I've worked on it. Family recipe. Impale. Oh no. This screen feels funny on my nose. Hmm. <laughs> Why did my brain go there right away? Ow. Ow. Stop. <laughs> Ow. Man, we are just brawling out here. Oh, holy shit. Oh, he was off stand. Or, uh, Retreat. We must withdraw and regroup. Holy shit. I was not expecting them to do that. I actually really enjoyed that. It was like a prolonged sort of scrap. You have my gratitude for all you've done on our behalf. We'll make for the village Ulrika staying in on our own from here. That was honestly really cool because this place before reinforcements arrived. This game this game respects its its NPCs as if they were like real people, right? A single death is meaningful in that encounter, right? Where if this was another game like I don't know, Fable or you know, whatever, they'd be like, oh no, the guards found us, we have to take them out, you, you would just fucking kill a group of six people, you know, like, 
Maybe someone just joined the guards. Maybe they've been there for months. Maybe they have friendships, you know? Maybe they have people they go home to after their, their jobs. But nah, you just fucking took their life. I don't know, there's something about that that feels real and normal, I guess, which is refreshing. Does that make any sense? <laughs> At any rate, this is where we part ways. <laughs> but if you're er of a mind to visit, know that we'll welcome you into our new homes with open arms. Till then, farewell. Because, like, uh, these guards don't want to die, you know what I mean? It's like when you're playing Thief, and, like, you can knock someone out, or you can just fucking kill them. Um, you know... Like, yeah, it's just a game, but, like, you know, th these are guards, these are people with their own lives, and you're treating them as, like, you know, ones and zeros, and yada yada, and that fucking sucks. That's, I've always thought about that when I play a stealth game, like, if I'm playing Metal Gear Solid, like, these are just soldiers, dude, like, they're just ordered to be here, they're not, they're not the bad guy, right? Like, sure, they might be bad, they might, whatever, but they're just doing their fucking jobs, man. Why should I kill them because they got in my way? You like hurting people, don't you? <laughs> you know what I mean? What are we doing? Oh. I I was sent here by Brant, right? Was this just like a... S this was just a side thing I could have done, right? Like, he's like, oh, mate, you should go check out Melv. And then I should have talked to him one more time and he would have given me, like, the main quest line to continue. What the fuck? Much appreciated. Yeah, of course. I was gonna say, like, do you run the ox cards now? Um, so I guess we go to Harv. Go talk to Ulrika, because she, she just runs whatever town that she goes into. Stop, it's getting too real, the depression. I'm sorry, what did I say? Oh, oh, the guards, yeah. Look, man. I just, I just think it's cool. There's, like, a weight to the, to those NPCs that were you know, existing in this world until I came along. To the point where, like, I was even saying, like, this is brutal because it's like, this is just a lot of people killing each other. I kind of didn't want to do it, but it's a game. And, um, you know, like, I think, oh shit, I think in general this game respects human life a lot more than the first game, which is really interesting. It literally tells you, like, when someone dies, it says you can find their body, you can revive them with a, a whatever, and it's like a big deal, which is really cool. And then they're just in this list, and like, like if one of them dies, I think it'll probably say, you know? Look, it's, it's, uh, Shalant. His name is Shakir? That's crazy. You know what I mean? And so, like, if you need someone to be alive again or something, you can try to find their body and revive them. I don't know. Oh! Uh, Daenerys! <laughs> Did I see the ox cart get fucking set on fire before you interrupted me? Oh shit. Oh, she doesn't have a heal though. So I can't take her. She's a sorcerer. They don't have heal. They have galvanized. Oh yeah. That's really cool. Okay, it's not on fire. <laughs> this is a cool- that's a- Yeah, I mean, it looks like Daenerys, right? From- From Got. Got. Uh, what was I'm I talking about? Any just you now. motherfucker! I'll just fucking walk, dude. Oh, that's what these, that's what these guys are doing. On the road again. <sighs> My head is heavy now. What the fuck? Oh, I didn't. Oh, I sw when I switched to uh, uh, Oh my god, when I switched vocations, I. I didn't set up uh, our skills, I just kind of went with it. Uh, but it looks like Fang has grapple, which is great for, which is what I wanted, which is great for the harpies. I don't know why I don't nice. I don't know why I don't use archers that much. You know, just 
in general. Like, they're good. It's just I keep finding pawns that are not. Maybe because most people are playing archers and thieves, so they have their pawns be warriors and mages, right? So you're just going to run into a shit ton of warriors and mages. Because they're going to be playing, you know, archer and, and thief. So they're going to need the support rather than being the tank or the healer. Right? Which makes a lot of sense. Most people probably don't want to play the healer, especially to a bunch of fucking stupid pawns, you know? And I mean that with with as much uh, pre prejudice as possible. <laughs> um, look, man, I, I just want the pawns to stop being stupid. That's all I care. That's all I care about. What were we talking about? <laughs> Damn, dude. Yeah, I want to say, like, I hit them, like, once or twice and they get staggered, and then I can just do a finish run. It's crazy. It's hard to tell because the pawns keep fucking insta-killing them. But, hey, that was the breaks. Yeah, the mage says that she can do ranged attacks, but I have yet to see that. Ever. It's in, it's definitely a thought in my mind, like, oh, if we have a mage, we don't necessarily re need an archer. Uh, because the mage could just shoot some magic shit at the, the, the harpies, etc. But I never see it. I mean, I saw it maybe, like, once. They're usually, like, buffing or healing or something, which is fine. That's what they're there for. Which, I guess, gives archers back their their use, since they're, like, consistently ranged, and mages are ranged and also casting spells, which may not be ranged. So it's one of those things that kind of just balances itself, right? And there's subclasses, which is just another mess. What the fuck are you doing? Are you... Oh. You're fucked. Jesus. He's dead. He's just... He's just dead. Remember, remember like two seconds ago when I was like, Oh, this game respects human life. <laughs> And they're just treating these poor fucks like they're pinatas. Literally, <laughs> sometimes they drop items. Damn, dude. String them up and smack them down. Uh, bottom text. Yeah, I didn't change our augments at all. The passives, so. Probably should have. Actually, I can do that at a campsite, I think, so it's really accessible. I was gonna say, like, no, we gotta go do it. Did you? Oh, I was gonna say, like, did he grab onto the Saurian? I don't think he did. He was just doing the, the spammy attacks that the thieves have. Hello? Defend yourself? Oh, that's rude. Oh my god! That's brutal, dude. Does strike damage let you fucking launch people? <laughs> That would make sense, but... Why oh, that random bandit gets so much... Air. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker cartwheeled. His shoes came off, dude. He's dead. <laughs> you best scramble like an egg before you get folded like an omelette. Blank. Yeah, you uh, Caleb said he's so fucking awesome. He's so funny, dude. Frank him, John. No! <laughs> oh my god. Dude, the air combos are insane. It's because Ulysses has a fucking... <laughs> so, as a mace. Yo, what's up, hottie? Oh, you're level 30? Later. Oh, well, she's 26. She's the mage, so I need I need the mage. I'm the fighter. I don't really need two fighters. Whatever. I want to I want to use more archers. Also, she, also she's she's kind of hot though. I'm just saying, man. Her outfit's a bit much. What the fuck happened? Jesus! I talked to someone next to a deer for like three seconds. I look over, the deer's dead. This game is just, just what. Oh, 
Hello. Thank you. Wolves hunting packs getting dropped for auto check. <laughs> Sedge, yeah, look, man, that's. That's just how it goes, I guess, right? I don't know. You're only really ever wanted if you're effective or attractive, right? So. You just gotta work on making yourself the most of that as you can. But I guess living within your own restraints of your the consequences of your birth, you know, you just kind of have a, a variable time with that. Maybe it's easier or maybe it's harder. Just, you gotta be effective or attractive. Ideally both, but I mean... It's hard enough being one. Most people don't even care. Well, obviously. How hard you work, there's just how much money you got. I'm running in fucking circles. I can change my skills here. Oh, you, yeah, I was gonna say, you can change your augments. So I'm a tank. Uh, or, you know, more physical. No, less, less dodgy. Stamina would be good. Boost this stamina. Oh. Struggling in a foe's grip. Okay. I'm usually not that, but I mean, I have the room for it, but ideally I get to the point where I'm not going to be grabbed by someone. We could eat, though. Wait, do we have any... I had Taco Bell earlier. I tried their new tacos. It's alright. Be, they'll be gone in a week. What did I do? We don't have any meat. We, I did just see a fucking deer corpse out of nowhere, but... Oh, speaking of which, that's fucked up. It's like they do this on purpose. Is this just a scrag? Can you guys drop, like, beast sticks? Or is it just always scrag? Sorry, guys, I gotta find out. Need a higher sample size. It would just be mean to let this guy go, because his friends are all dead. It's all just scrags. But goats, I think, uh, actually give you, like, steaks. You know? Remember we were killing deers before? I think it was a scrag, but the goat was, like, some gourmet shit. <laughs> oh. The only snacks I have are hot Cheetos. I have a little bit of some, like, sparkling water kind of drink. It's de it's different than sparkling water, because I hate sparkling water drinks, but then I have water. It's a band called Microwave that's pretty good. I was thinking, like, I could go for a drive and get snacks or a drink or something, and I probably will. Jeez. Her ass is just in my face. That's That's wild. song is called Neighbors. It's about how he doesn't... Is this fucker, like, fist... fisticuffing? Motherfuckers going hand-to-hand -hand with a minotaur? They're not. What is up with all these insane outfits, dude? <laughs> Stop doing this to your pawns. Dress them appropriately, dude. It's fucked up. <laughs> you know, oh my god. Oh, oh shit. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, he's cooked. Oh, he's cooked. Uh, shield bash. Shield bash. Oh, you motherfucker. I'm short. I'm short. I'm shuffling. I'm short hopping. And I'm fast falling. Oh shit. 
This is fucking cool, dude. Ow. That's cool. Oh, he's cooked. Proof of a hero. It's so funny. Well, all guys, look, they made proof of a hero into a real thing. Mind if I copy your homework? Yeah, but change up the answers a little bit. Dragon's Dogma proof of a hero. <laughs> <laughs> And that victory stinger is fucking awesome, so I don't even care. Is there different footage for different meats? Or does uh, Arisen... or meals? Or does the Arisen live solely off of red meat? I think it's only just for when you're like, cooking at a campfire. And I'm not honestly sure if you can actually make, like, different food types. Like a salad or something like that. Um, but, yeah, uh, all I've ever seen is just, like, meat, and, like, if the meat is aged or not, which I still don't really un fully understand what aged means. It just happens in your inventory, and it doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, if I get some, if I get some meat, you tell me it's gonna taste better if I leave it out? <laughs> I feel like it's gonna fucking kill me. Nah, that's why you cook it, to get the bacteria out. Forehead. It's it's safe to eat once you cook it. Don't matter. Come down here, I'll give you some, some impale. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! That was fucked up, dude, what I just did. Oh. Remember when I was like, remember when I was like, it's gonna be that way for every vocation where I spend two seconds playing and I'm like, this feels really awkward, but then eventually I'll be like, this is fucking awesome. I think I might be nearing that point. I think there's a bit, oh, there's a lot of auto aim on, on Airward Slash. I can just fucking destroy their skulls. Blink Strike, I haven't really found much use yet, but. Dude, that feels great when when the airward slash connects. That's crazy. Uh, I hope y'all are doing well. Like and subscribe. I've actually been losing subscribers a little bit. That's normal, and it's not a lot, but it's just kind of funny. Um. I'm always just kind of afraid to, to play games like these because uh, I feel like you know, someone's gonna see it and be like, oh, that's not Monster Hunter. And then they see it over and over and it's like, well, he's not doing fucking Monster Hunter stuff anymore, so I'm just gonna unsubscribe. And I know that's unrealistic, but that's just how I look at it. Because that's how I would treat a channel. If I, if I subscribe to a channel because I like them covering, you know, Diddy Kong Racing, and then all of a sudden they start covering fucking Mario 64, I'm gonna be like, fuck this guy. Fuck this guy. I hope his channel dies. <laughs> Where the fuck is my Diddy Kong fucking racing? You know what I mean? Something like that. Does, did that make any sense? Fucking dumbass YouTuber covering Diddy Kart racing, dude. Oh shit. This is interesting how like they make dark areas. It's really cool. Because I'm so used to traveling in, like, you know, open world games and the, the area just looks the same every time. Like, the lighting is consistent throughout. Maybe sometimes I'll add some, like, sh uh, clouds, which is really fucking cool to see. Like, moving clouds, but... Yeah, just having a darkened, darkened area here like this. I don't think... First of all, Skyrim's and uh, light... Dude, this looks like Death Stranding. <laughs> what the hell? It's just the Death Stranding map. Or Red Dead. This game looks pretty good. Fucking die. What was I saying? I'm gonna make a pawn. I'm gonna make a pawn. And make her super hot. I'm gonna call her Shrimpina. Oh, shit. 
shit. He saw what I did, and he's like, I could fucking do that, but better. And then he proved me, proved, he, he proved it. Dude, I, am I in like 4K upscale World of Warcraft or something? This place looks cool. Yo. Moist and delicious. Yeet. Aww. She. Oh. Yeet. Oh. Let me do the fucking move. Come here. Yeah, boy. Well. Pun stealing my thunder as usual. As, as is normal. As they are wont to do. I'm gonna run out of a bush and fall off a cliff. Who's farting? I'm here because funny. Nice. It's always cool to, to play different games. Adds diversity to the content. True. That's what I think. And I'm really happy with, um, with my Dark Souls videos. And I really, really want to work on more. I want to cover Dark Souls 1. It's a really fucking cool game. I really like it. It's, it's my favorite Souls game. <laughs> For various reasons. And I know a lot about it. And that ties into my last point a bit. I like it a lot because I know more about it. What am I doing? Yeet. Oh. Yeet. oh. No! You fucker. I want. <laughs> Jesus. Fang just fucking murked that guy. He was down, and he was like, No, please! I have a family! <laughs> Fang just hit him with that fucking anime one-liner. That's crazy, dog. Came out here like an anime protagonist after his friend died. That sounds too dumb. Sounded better in my head. Anime- Ooh, jeez. Anime is lame. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna- mention anime because anime is, is for losers but anime is good sorry talking about anime sucks but anime is good that's mean people like talking about anime you know what i mean someone recently said i look nerdy like in a good way but just made me think about like what normal people think about the world because I look at myself and I'm like I'm not nerdy like that's not even close to the first way I would describe myself I don't think I really have like any style at all but I wouldn't say fucking nerdy not to say that like being nerdy is bad or that I would even necessarily be opposed to that style but like it's definitely not what I'm going for I guess and it just makes me think like well you know I don't know what the fuck I look like and maybe what the fuck I look like and my style and my vibe that I give off is the part that like people don't really like all the time. You know? There's a cave here. But you know, it's one of those things where it's like I don't I don't really choose what I look like. Like, the vibe that I give off. I mean, like, you listen to the music I listen to, and it's like, what the fuck? I, well, I guess that's not really true. People can listen to all types of music. You can definitely... You can definitely have, like, a nerdy fucking pocket protector wearing ass. Listen to, like, death grips and shit, right? I guess that's more likely than some. I don't know. It's like, I'm listening to bands like, I don't know, like, Gojira. Well, that's... That. That's not helping my case. <sighs> Pierce the Veil. It's kind of normy enough to to fit within a stereotype. Because if I go too far out, it's it sounds less like, oh, they're into the genre enough that they know about it, and more sounds like, oh, they're just a fucking nerd and they know they know about obscure bands or whatever. They, bands that they think are obscure, like Death Grips. <laughs> Death Grips is great, by the way, for the record. I love Death Grips. They're, they have great music. Push me! 
push me swag until tomorrow. Do, 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 do. Whatever. Yeah. Anyways, um, yeah. I don't know. I mean, sometimes you look at skaters and they look nerdy. Like nerdy is a skater style, actually, which is kind of funny. I think nerdy is also kind of like an emo style, or at least, you know, some emo style like kind of used to lurk, look very nerdy. Oh no, a cyclops. He's pogging. Let's get the fuck off of this place, though. Is there, like, a flatter land we can fight in? No, it's just up here? Cool. Great. Maybe the vibe I put off. And, like, the people I go for. Don't really mesh. Maybe they want someone who's more normal. Seems like they have their shit put together. Because I don't. People say they can they can tell when someone's desperate or whatever. I don't think that's really true. Or rather, I don't think I I don't think I uh, I don't think it applies to me. I don't think I sound desperate when I talk to people. You know, I sound like I normally do. I'm I'm honestly pretty good at proof of a hero. <laughs> I'm pretty good at hiding. It, whether or not something is wrong or not, I don't really talk like that, you know? You'll see that a lot whenever I'm streaming, I don't really talk about anything. Jeez, this is fucked up, man. His legs are bruised and cut. Jesus. I would say just run, but I don't even think he could do that without the state that we left his legs in. Jesus. Ugh. Death by a thousand cuts. Yeah. It's sad, it's fucked up, but all he can do is fucking cartoonishly butt slam us because he's powerless. He doesn't know strategy or tactics or how this fight against ants is actually unfavorable <laughs> and you shouldn't have taken it. He doesn't know that, dude. He's a dumbass. All his life, his weight and his size has protected him and helped him, but he doesn't realize that this is the time the one mistake you make that you can't get out of you know you've survived 99 times but you only need to lose once and then it's over you don't have time to improve because improving would imply that that's that's a bunch of shit isn't it so what what are we talking about Jeez, I was gonna say this looks nice, and then I see it's just ass cheeks flapping in my face. Where am I going? Right, there was someone. No, yeah. Did I get sidetracked all the way up here? Wait. <sighs> I need to go down. My friends tell me, you'll be alright, you know, and I tell myself that as well, and maybe that's what I'm worried about. Those two wolf bodies back there, I thought that was a pile of corpses, like, well that was like a set piece to show how fucked up this area was. I think I'm feeling fighter a bit more. There's a cave. Frightful hollow. Ooh. I don't think I have a way to get up there. <laughs> well. Mario? <laughs> it's 
still playing. Let RPG game brain rot. What? what? The fuck is happening? You guys get scared too? Not you, like my pawns. I was looking at them. They were, they were standing like this. Like there's a, a bang, and then my, I look over, and my pawns are like, oh. Um. What you like isn't always bad. It's black and white. It's pure definition. Pure ter broad terms like nerdy and geeky can apply to so many different things. I want to talk about. Yeah. And also, like, there's a lot of overlap, right? Like, if you wear one shirt, you can look a bunch of different ways depending on what you pair it with or whatever. It's all, like, a culmination. It's like, um, it's like you have a final score at the end of it all and it all tallies up and it's like, oh, you look like a fucking nerd or you look like a grunge kid or whatever, you know, a skater. You look like you're 40 years old and still haven't figured your fucking life out, you know? Oh shit! That was a cool. I got launched forward and fucking hit my head. No! Oh, that she's gonna pick me up. I'll take her to our Xbox so we can play Fortnite. Can you guys do something? I have an archer in my team specifically for reason for scenarios like this. What was she doing? Was she asleep the whole time or something? Like. What? Like, literally asleep, because there's a sleep ailment. Like, I'm not I'm not being silly here. Like, was she asleep this whole time? <laughs> no, you don't get a fucking high five. Jackass, how about you do your job, then I'll give you a high five, much less your fucking paycheck. I don't pay these people. They work for free. Out of the goodness of their heart. Because they know, at the end of the, at the, end of the day, uh, it's it's... I'm doing good for the world and definitely not evil or for my own self interests. I feel like a pawn died here before. This is just that top area in <laughs> in third gen. It's not, but <laughs> you know the top area in the deserted islands with the Rathalos? I don't know why, I just uh, whatever, dude. Fucking Let's watch an FMV. I saw this one post, it's pretty great. It's like, asking people out is easy, you know? I ask them out, and they say no. Like, it's not that hard, it's actually really easy. I see a lot of, like, relatable stuff like that on Instagram. And such. Oh yeah, can't I, like, stop myself from taking fall damage? Well, I don't think it's stop myself, but let's try something stupid. Bombocolat! Oh shit! I'm still alive! <laughs> God, motherfucking damn! I just wanted to test that. That's kind of crazy, actually. It could legitimately save your life. Because, like, any other class, I think that kills me easily. Do you think it autosaved after I took damage? <laughs> you motherfucker. Whatever. We have a mage right- oh, Jesus Christ, get down here- oh! Unfortunately for you, you went up against me! Die! Oh, Jesus. Me without backup? Yeah. You guys brought- You didn't bring enough men. Where's the rest of you? My pawns are still trying to catch up, and it's like... I'm taking out like 20 of them. This game makes me cocky as hell. <laughs> this, it's, this game is a power trip. That's really funny. You know? You just feel fucking awesome every time. Like Monster Hunter, you'll be playing it, and like you'll... 
I don't know. It feels... I don't know. Maybe I've been playing for so long that it does, I don't really feel anything anymore. Except frustrated, you know? Which is why all those things, the problems with the game, mean more to me. Because it's like, oh my god. You know how veterans, like, they'll complain about some shit? It's because the, the honeymoon part of the game is worn off, you know? They've been playing for 3,000 hours, so now they can actually see the problems when they arise. And let, you know, let me tell you, there are problems. But they're problems that you can ignore if you're still enjoying the game because it's a fun experience, right? And that, that, the length of which people experience that differs from people. Some people, they can play a game if they, if they really like for a thousand hours and it still feels fresh and they can't see the flaws for what they are. Other people, they can play a game for like, you know, 50 hours maybe. They're still passionate about the game, but all the joy has been stripped from it and all you're left with are the, the problems that are holding it back. And so when you complain about it and people are like, you know, oh, you're just bad at the game, or oh, it's actually like the best version of the fight. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's like they can't understand why you would say that there's something wrong with it because it seems at face value so great. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing, right? I'm just saying that there's some problems. I'm not saying it ruins the game. I'm not saying it's even bad, badly implemented. I'm just saying, you know, I dislike it because I've been playing the games long enough that... You know, I've had the fun that there is, and it's not keeping me away from the parts that annoy me anymore. What the fuck? <laughs> Motherfucker's tiptoeing. Ain't no tulips out here, bah. <gasps> oh, my face! Oh, thank you. Man, I am down. <laughs> <coughs> Thanks. I should not have fucking... I should not have insulted this man's Jordans like that. Knock his ass down. Oops. Motherfucker showed me... Showed me the pads of his foot. Showed me the pads of his feet and the fucking... The ground right after. That made less sense in my mind. Oh my god, Fang. Kill him! Kill him! What? What is he doing? Jump off my shield! Get his ass! Sheesh! I didn't do anything. I really didn't do anything. Like he landed. That's that's the effect. Of, oh my god! Dude, catching on fire in this game, the effect is so good. It's ridiculous. Is he running? Yeah. I don't know what he's doing. Is this a scripted event? Is he the fucking troll of the bridge? What is he doing? Oh god. Uh, feeple, you might want to move. Wait, what is he doing? Yeah, yeah! Oh my god, it's... The friar from the fucking from the town. Oh god. <laughs> Fang, how did you make this? How did you let this happen? All right. Oh, all right. That's silly. Die, foul beast. Be gone. Man's got fucking destroyed cinematically. Okay, now it makes sense for Fang to be wanting like shinier things because he's the thief vocation. Uh, I can go west again. <laughs> 
That's so much better, being able to jump off. Because now it's more seamless. Normally I'd just get off of them and be like, you know, I would like be facing them. Now I can jump on them and be like, later, fucking loser. <laughs> it twos. I am bad at the game, that is true. Okay, now why can we not slide down hills on our shields? I think Zelda did it best when they said video games should be fun. She gonna put my ass to sleep. Cause she's so fu high fucking up. Come on. There we go. What do you want? Yo, nice fucking Skyrim hood. Eh, whatever. Oh shit. Is she luring me back into the range of the one that's singing? Damn. Rip. <gasps> oh fuck! Of course you come down when I'm weaker. Coward. You don't want to fight me at my full strength. You're a winged fucking coward. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Yo, I think this thing is cooked. Impressive. I killed an ox. Shut up. I believe since its wings are on fire, it can't fly. Never mind. Fuck off! I need the oxes to go away. They're so annoying. I think this thing is running. If Monster Hunter has taught me anything, yeah, it's gone. Coward. No? Oh man, this music is sick. Cry about it. I better not be on this back when it's flying. You know what? I need to jump off now just in case. Yeah. Oh, Fang. Oh, Lord. Oh, baby. What is you doing? Fang. <laughs> Tell me what you see when you get there. Poor Fang. He was carried off by the Griffin. Have to find him again in another rift stone. Because they'll probably fall to his death like I did that last time. Ain't no way unless you got a parachute and they don't make them in these neck of the woods in these, this rough part of town. Fang, you're back! <laughs> what the fuck? Where'd the ox go? <laughs> I looked away for a second. Whatever. Why are we going here? Blink strike. God Hey there. Well met. Look. Oh. Can to make a purchase? Yeah. No, I'm not. A cutlass. A 
cultist. Aurora Borealis. Much obliged, sir. At this time of year, in this part of the country, localized entirely within your op your <laughs> kitchen. Yes. May I see it? No. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, materials is what I want to give you. And this dick, sorry, I saw an, an opening. And I took it. It'd be funny if people thought Fang was hot, because I think someone would. A big old tall tiger man. I'm sure that turned someone on, right? <laughs> Definitely not me, you know? That's, that's what I'm saying, specifically. Is... No, but really. But also, this this ass is ridiculous. Like, chill out. Ain't nobody needs to see that. I, I wouldn't want to see that, honestly. <laughs> Just that Walmart and someone's ass is out. That's fucking distasteful, dog. Or, depending on where you live, I guess that's normal. Hey, Peter. Remember the time? Mm. Man, people just talk to themselves too much in these games. Maybe times are different. <sighs> I'll just stand here. Maybe it's different, right? Because in the modern age, no one fucking talks to each other. Or sorry, no one. <laughs> I sound like a boomer. No one talks to themselves because we're all so quiet and to ourselves and reserved, right? But maybe back in the day, people just people just voiced their concerns. That was not only was it something that people would eventually like hear and, and you know come out and help, but um, it was just accepted and people just did that, right? Nowadays, you can't be like, oh, my back hurts, or well, I mean, you can, but you'd be weird, or at least there's a larger, a growing part of the of the community of of humans who believe that. Because, again, it's less accepted now to voice your concerns in the open. But maybe back in the day, that's just how life was lived, you know? Because we were more, we were closer to one another. You know, if, if, if we were sick or you felt sick or something, maybe that meant someone else getting sick eventually, too. Um, you know what I mean? So they had to, they had to pay attention to the people next to them. But nowadays, there's so many of us and there's so much we can do about it. And we're so much, so such an easy way to cut each other off from one another that it doesn't matter what's going on with someone else it doesn't affect us but back in the day it did you know what I mean it did affect you personally because someone else behind you know next to you beside you close by you was suffering that would affect you in one way or another maybe less work got done you know what I mean but nowadays it doesn't matter there's so many of us if someone's having a bad day if someone's having a bad life you know like it doesn't really affect you at all Maybe it'll make you feel sad for a couple of seconds, and you know you say, "Hey, how's you? How's your day going?" Even though that's just the way that we say hello, it's not actually a question that needed answering. Um, you know, they're still just gonna say, "Oh, I'm fine. Nothing's wrong. Everything's okay." You know what I mean? Because if anything happened to this person you're talking to, they would just be replaced because there's more people, and we don't mean as much as we used to. Or maybe you know, did that not do anything? Was I supposed to pay attention? I hate this quest. Oh, he's clapping. You ever feel nostalgic for a time that you never lived? For something that people have done but you never have, but you still feel like nostalgic for it? Sometimes I'll play games and I'll be like, this is so nostalgic, but like... It's nothing that really relates to anything that you've ever experienced, or rather not anything that you hold dear. Like, maybe it's familiar, but it's not nostalgic, is it? Like, we didn't go that far. Like, you play Mario 64, and it's like, I've never played this. I didn't play it when I was younger, so it doesn't mean anything to me. 
but then there's some games you play, it's just, it, I guess it reminds you of something. Maybe it's not something that's obvious, maybe it's not something that you notice right away. It's just like the way that they, they hide areas with smoke, like old games that you used to play, even though this one that you're playing now is so much different in so many ways. What the fuck so, am I saying? You've got a decent arm on you. No need to be humble. Just the other day, I watched you fell a massive monster with my own two eyes. Who the fuck is this guy? Why is his face so small? Pray, sir. His ears are so big. Like <laughs> yeah, sword and board time. Araya, about to get a cold if she didn't put on some clothes for this weather. On oh, God. What was I talking I'm about? I'm after an instructor, see. But the ones in this city are cravens all. The sort that decided to teach to avoid the battlefield. What the fuck? Um, that's, that's a fucked up way of looking at people, dude. You do not know their lives. Like, maybe they don't... You know what I mean? They're not avoiding the battlefield. This is their retirement. Like, they're, they're fighters. They've been through hell. And they do not want to experience that again. Don't fucking judge them for that, dude. Who the hell are you, Humphrey? You don't fucking know the lives that these people have lived. You just assume, based on what they're doing, that they could be doing something better. You want them to die out in the field instead of in, at home surrounded by loved ones? Man, you don't know anything. Of course you're se seeking out an instructor. You don't know anything. If I'm to grow stronger, I need to learn from someone who's seen actual battle. A real He's a warrior, fucking child. <laughs> Won't you give me a chance? <laughs> I guess, I guess... Everyone is like that one day, you know, or once, you know, the Dunning-Kruger effect, where you think you know so much, you think you know it all, but you really don't, and then it's not until you keep going that you realize, yeah, you know nothing, if, you know, if there's one thing I know, it's that I know nothing, right? Go talk and to this, this guy. Baron fellow. He's a real warrior. I don't care, dude. I suppose you wouldn't recommend him if he wasn't. And after all, I've seen your prowess. I'm inclined to trust your judgment. You're a bad sense of character. Maybe I'm just saying this to get rid of you. Maybe I'll tell you anything. Maybe I know of him, but he's a horrible teacher. You don't know me. That's what I'm talking about, dude. You don't know me. Yeah, I've killed something huge. That should scare you. I could kill you in an instant. <laughs> Many thanks, sir. Fucking, he I'll seek out this baron and see what like 12 years old. Look at his face. They designed him to be an impressionable piece of shit. Oh well, that's fine. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll see him at Baron's camp and he'll be like, Why did you send me here? And it's like, you wanted to learn how to fight, kid? You wanted to join the fucking army, now you gotta deal with the goddamn consequences, you know? You didn't want to see someone die, well, it sounded like you were so prepared for it back in boot camp. What happened? It's almost like really being out here is different. It's almost like death is a, a very real thing that you've never really come to grips with. You've never really felt it close enough to you to really understand the weight and severity of it, the loss of someone forever. Someone you could be talking with one day and they're gone the next. Why do people glorify that, man? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Really makes you think what's wrong with the world. We have families and people growing up thinking that that's what they want to do in life is kill someone. And we just allow it because it profits the right people, right? We allow encouraging it with these fucking <sighs> be a hero messages and campaigns. What the fuck, man? For money? <laughs> because some rich bastard wants better stock prices on lithium batteries? Because that's what these fucking plebeians, these peasants buy. That's, it doesn't matter what it is. It could be fucking polished turds as long as people care about it. They don't care. They'll develop new technologies to polish turds faster. To make turds faster. They don't fucking give a shit. If it sells them and if it makes them money. It doesn't matter who dies in the process, right? <sighs> it sucks, man. This is a world that we're forced to live in. Greetings. Welcome to the guild hall. Here we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocations. It this guy's got a crazy game. bone structure. That's fucked up. Hey girl, your bone structure gives my bone structure. <laughs> I, 
I told that pickup line to a friend once. Uh, and I think it made him laugh. Because I was reading a, a line of pickup lines. I was, I was being annoying, you know. I was trying to... Trying to get a rise out of him. And, you know, for a joke, I, I knew he wasn't, like, too terribly upset with it. At least I hope. I was just reading a line of them, and it's just like... They're all so stupid, and so eventually one of them make you laugh. I think that was the one, so it's always, I've always remembered it. And then, uh... And then he left. You know, I've thought about it, um, I don't really, <laughs> I don't really tell stories about my life, cause, uh, reasons. Apologies. Because, you know, you watch streamers and stuff, and they always talk about their lives. It's because they, uh, they have stories to tell, you know? They have things to say. This ox cart's back. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. There's fucking slimes out here. <laughs> Was it the sound of a fucking toilet flushing? Because I spent money? This game have built-in memes? But I figure it's comedy and it's tragedy, right? They're both important. With all tragedy and no comedy, it's like, what's the point in living? And with all comedy and no tragedy, it's like, what's the point in laughing? I'm sure someone said that before or something, something like it. Just sometimes I, I think of clever, stupid little quips, you know. It's a bullshit quip written by some asshole. No one ain't half the battle, it's a bullshit quip written by some asshole. I've always hated quotes from people. They always they always play with words and use flowery language and shit. And they always say like they always say something and then say the, the reverse of it, as if that's some clever thing that's never been done before, even though thousands of people have done it before them, and people will keep fucking doing it. But it makes them sound like they're profound or some shit. I've always disliked that. Like, why don't you speak plainly, you know? If you have something to say, then fucking say it. Don't write a goddamn poem when you're just, you know, trying to make a point, you know what I mean? You! Twas you who found the flame but, <sighs> I guess it was a different time, you know? <clears throat> Not like I could say anything worth remembering. <laughs> Soldiers, apprehend this renegade. The Queen Regent shall have her justice. Am I, am I getting arrested again? That's crazy. Yo, remember when I was like, we didn't kill people? Holy fuck. This guy is 1 HP. Is he the, the guy that almost died in the last fight? Why are we fight, fighting these guys? We should be fucking killing this guy. Who gives a shit about those other dudes? Fuck this guy in particular. Fuck you. You're the scumbag making people fight themselves. Fuck you. I'm not fighting the guards. Hey guards, you're free now. How about that? Let's go. Don't figure it out. See, that guy's already given up. Stop fighting. Stop fighting. These are not people that we should kill. They're just people. They're just being told by fucking, you know, bureaucrats and goddamn politicians what to do. They're not our enemy. That motherfucker standing on the side's our enemy. Why is this game being so effective in showing shit like that? What the hell? <laughs> God, I hate politics so much. Fuck.
we knew who Joe Biden was. And we still had it in our heads that that was the best option. Like, I just, I just don't understand. But I guess that's the point, right? It's by design. You're not supposed to understand. Geek keeps you confused. You focus all your fucking time on academia and shit, trying to learn all this mess that they've written up. When the answer is fucking simple, dude. There's no... No classes, no speeches are gonna tell you anything different once you've reached the truth, finally. We're being used, that's it. We need to fucking think of the theories behind it, or the... How is this gonna affect the comedy bullshit? What's happening? What are people, you know, are people suffering? Do people need help? Well, hey, maybe do whatever it takes to prevent that from happening. If you think people are abusing the system, maybe find out why they fucking do that. Instead of giving a shit that people are abusing the system. I don't care. <laughs> if people are stealing, why do they do that? Is it just for fun? If so, can you get them to do it somewhere else, you know? It, but they don't do it for fun. Because they do it because they, they need to. And anything else, whether or not it's legal or not, whether or not it's moral or not, not all legal things are moral, not all moral things are legal. That's another one of those stupid quips written by some asshole, right? <laughs> what am I doing? That's an Aesop Rock line. I don't know what the song is. I think it's, it's Get Out the Car. He's talking about, he's talking about his past. And I think he had like a brother or something who died. And uh or I think they killed themselves actually. Suicide King with a knife in his crown. Uh, Aesop Rock's really good. He's one of the people who showed me that rap wasn't just <laughs> you know, sex, money, drugs, murder. Which don't get me wrong, sometimes you hear you listen to a track that's sex, money, drugs, murder, and it's it goes fucking hard, but you know, it's just kinda cool to to see that people are actually saying things instead of just mood pieces, you know what I mean? We're getting very philosophical this stream. <laughs> Did, I don't know if you were here when I said earlier, but I had, I had an edible a little bit ago. Like an hour and a half before we started, so that's probably what it is. I apologize, or you're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Melv. I'm in Melv. Oh. I need to go to... I need to go to... What the fuck is it called? I'm just gonna say Harem. Harv. Oh yeah, Harv. Harvard. There's a band called Harvard. H-R-V-R-D. Harvard. They're really good. I still don't have this shortcut. I'm just gonna take the ox car, dude. Fucking, what the fuck? I'm not taking any passengers just now. Yeah, weird. I wonder why. See a doctor. Hey, Ram, Rammo, Rambo, Rambo. I like rainy days. I don't really like when it's stormy, but overcast is really nice. And this ox cart's bound. I'll not take you anywhere. <sighs> what is that toilet flush sound, dude? What the fuck? Oh, I'm drenched. That's what. <laughs> Why does it happen every time? Every time I fucking pay, I just hear a <laughs> fucking fart with reverb. I forgot what I was saying. All right. Oh. Um, a lot of times I'll I'll, I'll see a, a really nice sky or something, and it, I think it's a quote or something, or it's a a line of thinking where it really sucks because like being alone can ruin everything. Because even when you're having a good time, you'll always be thinking like, oh man, I wish 
I wish I had someone to share this with, you know what I mean? Because, you know, humans are social creatures and they need people. People need the people. We need each other, right? <sighs> oh, how disappointed we are with no one around to love. It's a From Indian Lakes song. Um... I don't remember what it's called. I think it might be called Breathe Desperately. We breathe so desperately. As if it's the only thing we can... Breathe so desperately. As if it's the only thing. And we don't care if it's not breathing honestly. Or burning our lungs with it. I don't know what the song's about. But he says, uh, you know. So disappointed we are with no one around to love. And just, I don't know. It, it hits... It, uh... It hits hard, I guess. And it makes a lot of sense. Again, I'll, I'll see like a nice sky or something and I'll be like, man, this would be ni nice if my life didn't fucking suck. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> man, I, I sure would, I sure would love what I'm doing at the moment if my life wasn't fucking terrible, right? Oh boy, Disneyland. Oh boy, six star meal. Doesn't fucking matter if you're alone, man. You can't enjoy anything. Just sucks the joy out of everything. That's why it's a problem, right? Like, no one really takes it that seriously. Even though it's so. so awful in terms of, uh quality of life. Imagine living every day and it just sucks. <laughs> this is where people say, I don't have to imagine. But like is that you know, like sure, imagine everyone you know, someone has everything they all ever need. They have food, drink, water, um, you know, shelter. They have everything they could ever want. So why are they you know, why why does it matter? If you're alone. Like, shouldn't you be happy? Why aren't you grateful for all that you have? Mm, we are grateful. I am grateful. Very grateful, really. Otherwise, gives me the ability to have these thoughts in the first fucking place, right? But, if every day is just awful, as a default, as the baseline, you know, it starts making you think, like, what's the point? But, you know, we don't really treat that like it's a legitimate issue or problem. We just minimize minimize it because it's like, you know, we, we say it, we call it things that it's not. I mean, we say it is what it isn't. And the end of the matter is that people are suffering and people are, people need help, but we just ignore it. We just let it happen because it doesn't affect us personally, right? Because we're far enough away from people, we're far enough away from others that it doesn't affect us if someone else is suffering. Right? And all that really matters is money. That's just, so that's just what we've been told, right? It's all the, the only thing that matters is money. We're given this dogmatic <laughs> view of money and you know how it's the most important thing and everything revolves around it and you need money and you cannot live without it because you literally can't but it's not the only thing that matters it's just that's just what we've been told because the people who are in control the people who really fucking matter they make it they make it true you know they make it so that money is the only thing that matters because it's the thing that they like they want everyone to think that so they make people think that, that money is the only thing that matters. So that when the company's doing good, when the economy's doing good, it's just, that's just a win for all of us, buddy, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter how my life is going, as long as the economy's okay. Maybe the kids will be alright, you know? Oh, but what does this mean for the economy? Who gives a fuck? The only economy you should care about is your own. It doesn't even matter. The only thing that matters is you and me, you know? Us and them. Who gives a fuck about money? 
and we're all just living here next to each other. And sure, we're farther apart now than we used to be, but... That doesn't mean we don't need each other just as much, if not more, than we always have. Right? It seems like every day we find new ways to fucking disagree with each other and fight with each other. Like it's a sport or some competition. Like it's the point. Like it's the victory once we find something to disagree with someone someone else, but it doesn't fucking matter. We matter, you know? The things we're saying don't matter. We matter. The things that we do matters. To ourselves and to one another. The things that we don't do. That's what matters. Who gives a fuck about the economy? And people are suffering. What the fuck is this ramp for? Headwater cavern? I'm sorry, what? Ow. Remember like two seconds ago when I was like, this game respects human life. <laughs> and then this motherfucker just got carved like a like a turk like a turkey. Like a Thanksgiving ham. Damn, I would never say that in my normal state. Only my Super Saiyan 2 state. <laughs> no, this is Super Saiyan 3 because I look fucking stupid and ugly. And nobody likes me. That's me. I'm Super Saiyan 3. We forget about me. We don't even use Super Saiyan 3 anymore. Because it's so fucking boring and, and ugly. That's me. We would rather see the thing that came before or the thing that came after. Super Saiyan 1 and 2. Which we can't even tell them apart 90% of the time. And Super Saiyan Blue, which we don't even use Super Saiyan Red unless you're reading the manga. And most people would say that doesn't count. But then there's Super Saiyan 3 that nobody fucking cares about. That's me. There's better and there's worse, but no one cares about the person in the middle, I guess. Remember that time we fought a Chimera in a cave? That was crazy. And then there's a white. Yo, is, am I supposed to jump it? No, I'm not. What the fuck is this cave? It's just... I go this way? And then left? What? Yeah. I think I've been running in circles, right? What the fuck? Are we in a mine now, or someone's basement? Why were there bricks? This is a, a building, right? Or a mine? It's a mine. It's gotta be a mine, right? Holy shit! <laughs> Man, she was fucking... G President... General Armstrong, whatever the fuck his name is. Senator Armstrong. <laughs> dirty deeds done dirty cheap. President Funny Valentine, Senator Armstrong. My OTP. Oh, we're back here. No fucking wonder it's looks like. Yeah. Where was I go? What am I doing? Materials forger. That's cool. Oh, I'm going to Harv. <sighs> I'm getting sidetracked. I think I can go down here, right? Yeah. I hope you guys are doing alright. Hope things are going well. You know, both... Both in and outside of Monster Hunter, of course. And any other games you play. Hmm. Yeah, I need to go this way, I think. Get to a road. Take it along. Oh, 
off your lamps. Jesus. Those things shouldn't bother us if our lamps are off. Sorry if it's dark. Wow, that thing looks bad. Why does it look so bad? There's a beast stick. So I, I think they do have a chance to drop beast sticks. Those are the better ones. It's probably like 90% scrag of beast and 10% beast stick or something like that. You know. I am going the right way. Yeah, I need to go southwest. This ambient music's really good. <laughs> it's just really good ambient music. Because it's a shame that you never fucking hear it, because every two fucking seconds, this combat music plays. Man, if only we could have- Jesus, I am dead. <laughs> if only we could have good things in life. But instead, we have assholes in charge who don't know shit about dick. And we don't have the people with real passion who could make beautiful experiences for us. Culinarily, artistically, vocally, in any way that you might think. Life could be made worth living from one another, and yet we have to put a fucking price tag on everything out of necessity. Even if we rather wouldn't. Because the only thing that matters is money. <sighs> Jeez, man. How to get like this? Jesus, dress your fucking pawns properly! Stop! <laughs> what the fuck, man? That's a Cyclops or something big. It's an ogre. Come on, then. Come on, pal. You're looking upset. That's alright. What? He just went up there just to come back down? Man, this this geometry is not working out for you, is it, bud? You get mad? Push your pants. Oh fuck! 
Help. Um, hey. He's gonna eat me. Uh, uh. Oh, Jesus. Hey, maybe, maybe they could help. Instead of just standing over there. I would feel violated, but if you think about it in the grand scheme of things, this motherfucker's dead. I was able to kill him. And the things that I am, the things that I will be, the things that I have been, the many different forms that my individual cells have been. It doesn't really matter what happens to this form that I take place right now, right? I'm sure I get covered in slime or fucking molested by a fucking freak ogre. Not not to say that this sounds really victim blaming. That's not what I'm saying. Just it doesn't matter to me because nothing matters. Maybe the point is that some people get to that point. We shouldn't let people get to that point. But we don't care about each other. Right? As previously stated, etc. Yada yada, there's more of us. We care less about each of us. Hope the game's not too loud. Oh, he moved. Fuck. I thought he just went down where he was. I wish Destiny 2 didn't suck. It's such an awesome game. Um, is he checking if they're in a risen or something? Oh. Um. Oh. <laughs> She's an enemy now. That's so funny. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> Alright. Jesus. That's fucking crazy. A lot of the people at the top prefer short term gain over long term improvement, yeah. But like, and it just sucks, yeah. But but I like to think of it like, you know, more individually too, like 
this, this doesn't benefit us, right? Like, we can't, we can't come together and say that and believe it and change anything for, you know, there will be no fundamental changes kind of type of shit. <clears throat> it just sucks that, like, this is the life we're given, you know, this is the life that we live. We don't get another chance. Well, obviously, depending on what you believe, but honestly, if we assume this is the only chance we get just in case, regardless of other factors that may or may not be in play, shouldn't we wish for the best that we could possibly have? Even if what's next is better. Even if we forget as we move on. Shouldn't we still aim to live our best life and to help those around them live their best life? Regardless. But a lot of people disagree. Like, because again, they just have to win. Like, there's an argument to be had, an argument to be made. It doesn't matter what the argument is, it doesn't matter what the fight is or the disagreement, they just have to win. I heard what transpired. Thank you for fighting. She needs to stop fucking blushing. This is insane. You cannot imagine my relief. What the hell? She's got a fever, dude. She's dead. The all of her blood in her body has gone to her cheeks. She's dead. She's a zombie. What the fuck? Why does she want to fuck me so bad, dude? Is this a main quest? I have to get fucked by Ulrika? <laughs> I'm gonna go check with Brant. Cause like I said, this is probably just like a side tangent that he, t he led me on. Much obliged, sir. I saw some post on Instagram about how being loved is a skill just like loving and not everyone is taught how to be loved. It's fucking stupid. I swear to god if anyone takes my voice and puts it over a Midwest emo intro I, I will fucking scream. Sarah Kieran. Guys, I'm a warrior, I'm slow, you gotta let me... I'm a fighter. You gotta let me catch up. I wanna get some. You guys are so fast. Oh my god. It's a coin on the- on the wall?
There's no coin up here? What the fuck is the X? Oh. Got it. Riftstone of a Jill. Oh, right. Hmm. Oh. Interesting. I don't know. That's weird. Uh, isn't there an ox cart posting or post here? It's gotta be. Is that, is that it? No, it's a lantern. Among Us. Oh, hello. Oh yeah, there is no ox cart that leads here, huh? Son of a bitch. Because if you try to take the west one, it takes you out to... Past Harv over here. Oh my god, we gotta walk back. No, we don't. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Always a pleasure. That's crazy. That's fucking insane. Imagine someone coming into a bar and just sitting there for 12 hours. And then when they finally leave, the bar keeps just like, Always a pleasure. Nah. They're gonna sit down for like three or four hours. Three or four hours, if that, and then they're gonna get fucking thrown out for not, t not getting anything, dude. They're just taking up space. We got profits to think of here, buddy. You can't be sitting in a seat unless you pay for it, you know what I mean? Your simple act of existing in this place, you've got to pay for that right. You know? Do you get that? Does that make sense? You will, of course, require raiment befitting of the occasion. I would ask that your majesty return once you've procured such attire. What the fuck, dude? I've been invited. You mean they didn't... they didn't give me one? Is that like... What about you, Brant? You can help me with this, right? Well, well, maybe not. I guess that would draw attention. Is that what this is? It's like, oh, hey, you've done so well that you're invited to the coronation. But you'll have to wear something better than your normal attire, you know what I mean? It's because they don't expect me to, to show up. They're like, yeah, this fucking hillbilly. What's he done? He killed, he killed like, three Cyclopses? Eh, those, those idiot peasants are always so damn strong. Yeah, I can give him an invite. It won't mean anything, though. Because they can't actually show up. They gotta wear the right clothes. You can't just show up. Am I making any sense? <sighs> well, fuck them. I've been in their castles. I've stole their clothes. I'll shit in their beds. They want spiffy. They want fancy. I'll show them fancy. Give gift. No. Well met. You will soon forget <laughs> the fatigue of a long journey. Fuck you. I hate sweat. <laughs> Yo. Let me cook. Let me cook. 
salami cook. When treated to the you know where to find. Hear me out. Peep the drip. Oh, I have secured suitable raiment. Ra <laughs> Peep the drip. I look fucking baller. Actually. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I kind of like the dumbass dunce cap, though, actually. <laughs> What's up, fucker? How's this for drip, huh? Motherfucker. But, like, fancy enough for you? Holy shit. I'm gonna follow my death. Yeah, how's this, bitch? There is much we ought to tend to. He's gonna look at me and be like, the, the fuck is you wearing? <laughs> We needed you to be a guest, not a fucking court jester, dumbass. Or shall change once we have attended the coronation. Shouldn't have let me cook. Oops. There we go. If your majesty has any unfinished business to attend to, it is best you do so before we depart. See, I hate when they say shit like this. Because... Does this literally mean that I can't do the side quests that I've ca that I have access to right now? Because first of all, that's fucking stupid. Like you give me a main quest and then it cuts off all the side quests in the area if I haven't done them, considering there's like 50 of them. Second of all, or does it mean I just won't be able to do side quests until a little bit, right? Like, hey, if you have anything to do, go finish it up first and then come talk to me. But you can still get back to it, you know? Or I'm just fucked. Like, is this a time skip? Is this a... You know, does the end of the game open world resemble the start of the game? Do I still have access to these things? Like, it's... I hate when they say that. Very I don't well. care, though. The coronation is to take place on the morrow. We shall depart early in the morn, so your majesty will do well to get a good night's rest. Oh, jeez. Wow. Uh, fangs here? Wait, what? Master, pray, leave this place. My body, it refuses to obey me. There is a voice within my mind. It commands me, sways <laughs> my very will. Oh, this is the pawn sickness. Sways your will? Could it be that for God's sway? Oh. We must quit this place, your majesty. Quit. I fear our plans may fall to naught. Let us return to the tavern. That's fucking crazy, actually. That's crazy! It's cool that Brant was, like, actually fucking psych. Oh. I knew it! See? What the fuck? Oh, it's a tal- it's an amulet, right? Or is it actually his- His balls. Nice balls, bro! Sven, what the fuck? This is a Resident Evil 4 cutscene. <laughs> We've been had. Oh. The false sovereign commanded the pawns at the coronation, proving his own powers arisen. Wow. So, so they they're able to control pawns, like fake being an arisen. That's really cool. According to Regent King Sven, the pretender was wearing some sort of lavish necklace at the time. Yeah. I imagine this artifact is the Godsway mentioned in that letter. I mean, I figured they would try to change up the formula somehow. I mean, it, you know. The chance is a tool that grants power akin to that of the true Arisen. That's crazy. It would do much Maybe it's an old Arisen heart or something. Held for now. A, that's ding dong or a fake. Yeah, balls in his chest. <laughs> that's crazy. Alas, unless we find some way to unmake this Godsway's power, proving your majesty's legitimacy shall be difficult indeed. I hate that I say shit like that's crazy because it's like I've stolen that that phrase, that word, you know? From people who are like younger than me, from people who are like happier. Pray, allow me time to search for a way forward. I shall inform your majesty when I have prepared a plan of action. Uh, 
needs time. I have to wait. Hold on. Are you seeking to tell my ass? This motherfucker told me. You better finish up your shit before we do this. And then it was a cutscene? So it wasn't even... It was the third option that I didn't know existed. When you when you give me a, a, an option to, are you sure you want to continue? So either I leave these side quests behind and I can't do them again, or I leave them behind but I can do them later, or it's a f it's a fake fucking question. Wow. Well, I could just rest a couple days, but that sounds boring. So let's go to Melv. They weren't ready for my goddamn extremely explosively fire outfit, though. So that's fine. They would have seen me and been like, Oh! My word! Oh! Oh my god, this is even more drip. Imagine I show up like this. Like, who is she? Let's go talk to Schlapp before we leave. Well, you will soon forget <laughs> the fatigue of a long journey. They should've just got Schlatt to do the voice. It would really fucking funny. Oops. I don't know what that was. Oh well. Oh shit. Plate armor. When treated. <laughs> and I cannot overstate how little I give a shit about what this guy's gonna say to me. At any given time. The foremost much obliged. Shut up. So what what did I do? Oh. I still have the cutlass. That's alright. It's probably paid DLC, motherfucker spending on MTX. How does a Gen Zer? Help me. <laughs> Sorry, um I've kind of Stop stop paying attention. I'm actually millennial. Barely. I'm like the last year on one of the engines. Are you fucking kidding me? This I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Oh, I need some time to prepare this shit next morning. I've had time. Like, I thought you were gonna take longer. I, I made plans, dude. You can't just... What well, can you put them off? It's the fate of the country at stake. It's like, no, dude, it's a plan. I don't cancel my plans. Like, you make a plan, and you just you gotta stick to the plan. You know what I'm saying? Plan, plan, plan. I'm gonna set this shit on fire. On accident. Wood. 
Oh, I, I moved this game over to- what the fuck? I moved this game over to a solid state drive. Um, I haven't been paying attention at all. But I think the loading screens are better. Are you fucking kidding me? I can't doze off. Apparently you're the top end of Gen Z. No wonder I can't re relate to the young guys, yeah. I can't relate to the young guys because I'm not fucking happy with my life. Not that I wish to imply. You have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until- <laughs> Well, let's just say your hour has come again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So. Wake up, Mr. Freeman. Why am I doing the Half-Life 2 intro? Wake up and <laughs> smell the ashes. <laughs> you have chosen or been chosen. Something. <laughs> I don't know what he says. <laughs> Why the fuck? Where? Oh. North. Don't drink the water. They put something in it. To make you forget. <laughs> oh. Thought you were a cop. He's one of us. Something like that. I don't remember what the guy with the crying wife is saying. But they make it later on. They're in, uh... They're in, like, the rebellion phase. And they're, like, in rebellion armor and shit. But they're still doing the same thing. She's freaking out and he's trying to console her. Is that what, that's what you do when someone's having trouble. Or when someone you love is having trouble. At least that's what you'd want to do, right? But maybe we're all just less comfortable with that. Because it's like we're uncomfortable with sharing how we feel with anyone. We don't want to bother them with it. Because it's not efficient. Because it's the only thing that matters is money. I talk to you about work because it's where my money comes from. I talk to you about what I do. I talk to you about my the things that I own, the places I go because it's what my money gets me. It doesn't matter. I'm not showing you my heart and you would never show me yours. Because all we fucking talk about is money and what we buy and what we what we have to pay for to survive. The ins and outs of that, nothing else. Nothing else fucking matters. I don't talk to anyone about fucking music. I don't talk to anyone about art. Hey, how's your day going? As good as any other. That's all I ever hear from anyone. And I don't know if I'm comfortable enough to hear more. And I hate that that's what I've grown into. It's fucked up, dude. We all mean. We all mean just a little bit less. What the fuck happened? Is Baron dead? Berenstein? What the fuck happened? Is he supposed to be here? I think Baron's dead. What a shame. What a rotten way to die. What to die. <sighs> Maybe I just haven't done everything that I need to. But oh well. Oy, oy, oy.
It's a little pretentious to say, you know, if you don't like fast, or if you, if you, what is it, like games don't need fast travel, they just, they just need to make travel interesting or something like that. It's really pretentious, considering this is what we got. Don't get me wrong, this game's fun. But every open world game wants fast travel eventually, even if it's like the mid or, or end. Some games are made better without it, for sure. I think limiting it would be an interesting thing, because you miss out a lot on a lot of the game if you just fast travel everywhere, but if the game encourages you to do that, then, you know, it's kind of enabling you to ruin your experience. Potentially. Imagine. <laughs> I think they know, chat. Araya serving some cheeks, it's ridiculous, dog. I cannot believe how people dress their characters. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my view. I'm not gonna have Fang dressed up like a slut. Best stat item, by the way, yeah. Not if it looks stupid. There's an attractiveness stat too, you know? What is it? What? Why are you running? What you need of me? I think I heard your shoulder. Who are you there? You're who's the one requesting? I didn't ask. It is none of my concern. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Anyways. What happened? <laughs> oh, he's just here. What up? There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to strengthen the a mankini. claim as a true arisen. It's true. Why are you fucking smiling like that, dude? Regarding the matter of the godsway, I fear there is naught to be done, so for your majesty. I think Araya just tooted. <laughs> oh she's she's gassy. She had a cheesecake. Oh god damn. <laughs> Yo, chill the chill the shit out. Sigil upon that letter from some days past. What are we talking about? The crest of the Batali Palace. Surely there's ought to be found therein. <laughs> Man, it must smell bad. It's sending people into a frenzy, and she's panicking, having a panic attack, and she's just in the corner. Whatever. The official dealings twixt Batal and Brumund are suspended. Passing through their fortress will prove a difficult task. With such hindrances in mind, I thought to prepare this. Pray, take it. Few may pass through Batal's fortress, save Beastron merchants. With some coin, I was able to convince one such merchant to grant us that entry permit. It ought guaranteed passage through the border checkpoint. Nice. But alas, tis intended for a Beastron. You shall have to act the part. But as to how that should be done, I am shamed to say I do not know. It will depend upon your majesty's ingenuity. I have to become a furry? What the fuck? Oh! Oh! What? Did he just- oh, Okay, so I guess if you get to this point and you don't finish that shit, you just unlock it? That's insane. Wait, what? 
Have you business with the guild, sir? Yeah, I can just get this now. Pretty sure I don't have an archer stave. Did they? Yeah, he gives me one. I guess maybe at this point in the game they fucking they got their shipment back. I don't know. Oh hey. You, this Sven wants to meet. Jesus. You. Says he'll be waiting in his quarters. Hey yo. Just, okay, Sven. You need to you need to understand how the world works. When you want someone to come talk to you, you don't call them to your you know, like regular people you just go out and find them or give them a call. Silly kid. He's uh he's just He still doesn't know how the world works, but once we overthrow the kingdom, um we can, we can get him some knowledge, some street street knowledge. You know? Make him street smart. I can take an ox cart to get that way, right? It's like, yeah, it's down here. This is just Genshin Impact, dude. This is Genshin Impact fucking PAL world. It's so funny. I can take an ox cart to here and then I'll get us most of the way. Taking I fucking knew he would say that shit. I'm sorry, is it 8 a.m. so you're done for the day or something? Fuckhead. None of us is guaranteed tomorrow. It's just life. Bunch of sluggards. That was a medieval equivalent equivalent of voicemail. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I Oh, yeah. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Oh, she she kind of cute. Can she sit in the cart with me? Just stay there. Not good. What kind of this? What what the fuck? Yeah, whatever. That's enough. It's usually how it goes. Oh fuck, dude. <laughs> Oh god. Jeez. Nice drop kick, dumbass. Fang. Oh.
think we're getting fucked up there. Oh shit, oof, nice. He got his ass. I really like how big monster bo like, big boss corpses are like physical things. It's really cool that you can like stand on. And then they just become part of the world for a bit. Come on, let me sleep. Uh. Oh my god. Hey yo? Hello? Nice fucking cloak. You need to pay to be on the on the cart though. Can we move these things? I really don't think we can. Um Okay. I think the ox cart broke. Apologies, but I can't offer you a ride, sir. walk the rest of the way. Oh. How are you liking the game overall? It's good. It's really enjoyable. Uh, in, a, in a variety of ways. There's some flaws here and there, but nothing that's like so egregious that I could remember them. They pop up here and there, but like, I mean, inventory management's a bit of a thing, but that's kind of just part of the game. So. Like the cheeky pawns, yeah. Holy fuck. When you see shit like that, it's just brutal. Oh my god! That's fucking awesome, dude. Holy shit. I have a modest talent for spotting materials that could be used to enhance your equipment. I don't fucking care, dude. My thanks. Oh, it's this bitch. Oh, she's got a scar now. Just a little something to say thank you. Maybe I didn't help her that last time so she lost her eye. Or I just never noticed. Uh, why would you spit on me? Why would you throw up on me? You just wake up and you're ready to vomit? That's fucking weird, dude. Like, your first instinct to attack someone is you throw up on them? Like, are you scared? Oh my god, they probably are. They're just trying to live their lives. We come in here and they have to fight us because they don't know we're not here to fucking kill them and their tribe. They're doing their damn best. They don't have no personal war. They don't. Saurians, as a group of people, of. of as a civilization, because they have tools and shit. They don't care about us. We're the ones entering their lands. They just can't defend it. doesn't mean they shouldn't have it. The only reason we haven't completely wiped them out and taken them out and taken them over is because we can't hold that much. <coughs> because we, we always argue with ourselves. Oh.
Like these guys. They're not sent by some evil overlord, and even if they were, they're still individuals. They're just out here. <clears throat> you know, living their weird ass lives. We don't, we don't know. Maybe they take their gear off of people they kill. Maybe they're just bestial, unlike the Saurians who actually make their own tools and have their own culture. Doesn't matter to us. They fight us because they think they have to, because whenever they see humans or beast or etc., they do have to fight to survive. So maybe he's throwing up because he's terrified. Maybe he's throwing up because he knows now. Now is the end, finally. Because every day that these things live out here, as dangerous as it makes the roads for people like, you know, regular people. It's even more dangerous to them because they don't have anywhere to run. They can't hide in town or cities. They're out here. That's fucked up, man. I don't want Saurians to be out here. They're cool. They probably have cool stories to tell and things to share. They probably like eggs. Oh fuck! <coughs> well. Now these guys are just pricks. But again, what drives someone to a life of crime? Is it a mental deficiency? Is it a mental illness? Is it something that we can prevent? Is it being pushed to your extremes? Is it desperation? He just loots items out here. Oh my god. Sorry, man. Will I try out the great sword class? Yeah, actually. Um, let me switch to that when I when I get back. Look at that cheeky pawn run, yeah. The ethical treatment of Saurians is not something I th thought I would be thinking about today. I've always liked Saurians, you know. I mean, sure, it's fun to fight them. I like it's fun to cut their tails off, but like, just think about that. They probably use their tails for balance, right? Imagine seeing a Saurian with no tail, trying to live its life. They'd probably be... They'd probably be called a freak. No one would like them. It's like, oh look, it's tailless. It's like, well he had a fucking name. Or at least he thinks he did. Before... He lost something that was... That society said was so important, right? It's not like anyone ever liked his tail in the first place, but now that he doesn't have it, it's one of those things where you won't notice it unless it's gone, kind of thing. And maybe you usually go after the ones with larger tails, right? Maybe you don't know that. Why is this griffin loot missing? Oh, the health doesn't reset? Holy shit. Its arms are still burnt. Oh my god, this is the same griffin. And he's fucking stupid. <laughs> this music's sick. I don't think his wings are burnt, actually. They look burnt, though. Like, from down here, they look burnt. Are they burnt? Am I just fucking crazy? Because normally, don't they have more health? No, I'm stupid. They don't have more health. Right? They just have four, three bars. It's just they always fucking leave, so I think they have more. And drakes have a shit ton of health. Man, I almost thought this game was cool. Never again shall I make a mistake for, of liking a video game. This fucker just won't get out of the air. I, did, I didn't bring any flash bombs, so I'm just gonna leave. 
You think that's a coffin right there? And there's a box right next to it. Notice I didn't even check the coffin, even though it probably contains a person, because that, that would give me no benefit. I wouldn't benefit. No, that's just gross. It's probably because he's dead. It's because he's gross and icky and smells bad. Classic burbs flying into the walls, yeah, for real. <laughs> what, what am I doing, dude? I'm going the wrong way, is what I'm doing. I just started exploring, I forgot what I came over here for. Or tried to come over here for, and then the cart couldn't, wouldn't start moving again. Forehead. <clears throat> you know when someone feels bad and we always feel bad for them and like we want we wish that we could like help or whatever, <coughs> but we we most of the time would rather not ask in the first place. Like maybe we feel that way because it's just a holdover from when we were tighter knit as human as humans. And not to say that that was better or anything. Um. And it's funny to think about that. It's, that's something that we're just evolving out of. Like, we still do social human things. Maybe, maybe it's just me. Maybe humans do work normally, and it's okay. Maybe the kids will be alright. Maybe it's just me. Probably. Hopefully. I am so fucking lost here. Is the place? Cool. You know, the chest's giving out, like, random fucking weird items instead of anything meaningful. It reminds me more of Genshin Impact. <laughs> How there's just chests everywhere and they just give you random shit that's not really meaningful and you just grab them because of the dopamine hit. Finding a fucking green warish in a chest and it's just like, what? A plant that I pick up is inside of a box? Aren't boxes meant for, like, important shit? How much resources did it take to make this one box? You're telling me you're putting a fucking plant in it? But I guess... Oi. I don't mean to <sighs> Only... It's my grandson. A boy... Danny DeVito? He's gone missing. Pray tell. Have you seen the lad? Maybe that's just my mind. Having been... Changed by the world. That I... Assign a value to things like a... Like a plant. Maybe the plant's extremely meaningful for one reason or another. And maybe them putting it in that box is proof of that value, of that sentimental value, right? Maybe I'm just opening the box and saying, oh good, another fucking curative herb. But maybe for someone else it was incredibly important. Maybe for its use and maybe not. Just something we take for granted. Morris, I've just found out Roger's been abducted by beasts. What? No! How can that be? I've just that made no you. sense, did it? Rod was seen being dragged off by wolves. <clears throat> oh, my wolves! Oh my God, he's probably we dead. Go rescue him at once, Morris. Think what you're saying, friend. We can't go charging off after the lad. We are no match for such creatures. 
You see, the funny thing is, this is a shame, because it's just two of them. Now, humanity versus wolves, who do you think is going to win? Obviously, it's humanity. But as individuals, we are weaker. So why do we insist that being alone makes us stronger? Like, if we got the whole town to have, like, a public emergency, like, oh, <clears throat> Roger's been fucking grabbed by wolves, can we please get the guards to help us? But we can't do that here, can we? Because it's not like the fucking cops are going to help. They're not meant to protect you. They're meant to protect property. Do you truly expect me to do naught but <clears throat> my thumbs when my own has been taken from me? The soldiers won't do aught for him, will they now? Like how much value do we place on a human life that a plant put in a chest is more important than a, the life of someone's grandson? Concern it all. He's right. But what else am I to do? If I do not hasten to the poor lad's aid, who will? If he was dragged off by wolves, I'd say you have at minimum, <clears throat> like, at maximum, at, like, ten minutes before he's dead. <laughs> <clears throat> Give me a big pokey stick and I would solo every critter in the whole, in the woods, yeah. On God. No, but, you know, like, yeah, I, I just feel like if, if, if someone, if you were a tight-knit community, and a fucking wolves dragged off a kid... Like, the entire fucking village would be like, where the hell did they go? We're gonna go get them. Not not everyone, obviously, but, you know. They, would, they wouldn't rest until they were back safely. It's not because it's their kid, right? It's just because everyone was so much closer to each other that it affected them personally more. Whether that be emotionally or financially or physically or whatever, you know. Again, maybe less work gets done. Maybe someone loses someone they love. Or someone never finds them. And think of the consequences of that. Did it, do you truly mean that, sir? You will save my grandson. No, he's already dead. If you return him to me, I will be forever in your debt, stranger. You shouldn't say that. I'm gonna rob this man for all he's worth. I'm gonna keep taking and taking and taking till he's got nothing to give. I'm gonna bleed this fucker dry. I'm gonna save this guy's grandson so fast, this motherfucker's gonna be on the streets in seconds. Milliseconds. Motherfucker will never be able to hold down a job. Because every cent he makes is mine. What? I don't believe I had any visitors today. I am going to kill you. Be gone! I have no hospitality to extend toward one bereft of decorum. You motherfucker. You see how fast that piece of shit ran from me? I was gonna wring that motherfucker's neck. Oh yeah, someone's kid was taken away. Yeah, it's timed. No shit. <laughs> At least the game respects that this kid doesn't have much time to live. <clears throat> What does the quest want me to do? Speak with the townsfolk. Jeez. Tis my duty to hear the people's concern. Oh really? I've got nothing for ye. The flowers that bloom around here glow come nightfall. Is this like a spy, like first message, second message, call and response sort of thing? Am I supposed to say like, and the dirt is soaked with blood of the? Of traitors or something like. From what I can glean, the no, she's just legit. Light by day I do not care. What? What the fuck? How does that relate to finding a child who was dragged off by wolves? That doesn't fucking matter. Have you need of me? Oh, Dante, where's Virgil? You'll never believe you really. This, he's got red hair. I saw hmm. an elven woman and a dwarven man walking hand in hand. That's adorable. You put an Mayhap my eyes I love that. Hi, I met Roger by the cenotaph on the eastern side of town. He had what looked like a bundle of grass with him, only he was carrying it as though it were of the greatest import. 
When I asked what he was doing with it, he would say no more than twas a secret. So I told him to get home safe, and we parted ways. Remember what we were just talking about with the grass? Yet no sooner had Plants. I turned my back than I heard him scream. I charged to his aid, but a wolf was already scarpering with him and its jewels. Man, does anyone else, like, feel pumped up about this? This group of people, this literal fucking mob of people around me, hearing this guy say this, isn't gonna say, like, Oh my god, where is he? Let's go save him. We're just hearing this and ignoring it and going about our day? That motherfucker over there is still selling shit. The world has paused because of the... Well, because it's a video game, but... Come on, people. Where's your sense of community? Oh, His cries haunt me Motherfucker's now. talking like there's nothing he can do. Pray help him if you can, sir. He deserves a better fate than this. Man, what the fuck? Like, what are you gonna do right now? I. He had what looked like he would say no. Yet what are no you going to do? I charged to his eye. Oh, lad. I guess. Help him again, he's can, just sir. resigned this child to its fate. This kid, this this teenager is probably he's probably like a young adult. Motherfucker's like, oh no, nah. he was pulled off by wolves. What a shame. Fuck's sake, people. Shame there aren't as many folks spinning. I rather enjoyed hearing the one about it said to descend. I don't care. Will this take long? I ought to be doing. Yeah, you seem like it. Wait, what did he say? Aye. He had what looked like a bundle of grass. Eastern side of town. Would say no more. Yet no sooner had I charged to his aid. Oh my god. Pray help him if Eastern side of town. I don't think the game wants me to go over there. I think the game just wants me to yeah. Truly is a lovely boy. He's always helping Morris in his shop. Like, can you imagine going back to, like, the Middle Ages and just people just bother you with random fucking shit? Assuming that's what they did? I would be like, send me back. I don't want to hear a single person say anything else to me. Less mouths to feed, probably, yeah. Again, we just put a value in the human life. They've, uh... Will I ever see your smile again? Why don't you pick up a spear and go help him? The flowers that bloom around here glow. What the like fuck? Are you, you're in on this shit, huh? Are you with the wolves? From what I can glean, isn't that un She's definitely with the wolves, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> she orchestrated the whole thing. I'm gonna come back and she's gonna be like, "No, you're back. You survived." Wahaha. <laughs> Like, bitch, you were insane. You were psycho. She's still looking for her her spy other half to, like, come over and give her some cryptic message. Did any of that make sense? Man, this stream's gonna get privated. <laughs> no, I probably won't even watch it that much. I'll, I'll just do timestamps for when the bosses are on screen. And then maybe, like, wherever I am. Just to give people, like, checkpoints or, like, you know. Because imagine you're watching, like, an hour long video, even. And, like, you're maybe, like, 20 or so minutes in, but you don't know exactly. And then, like, you change the tab and you go back and then your video gets reset. Like, how are you supposed to know where you are? At least with, like, the timestamps that I like to try to do, like, you can... Um... You're telling me I'm following pedals because the kid was getting pedals? Motherfucker, this is just what I was talking about. The bundle of leaves was, was pedals, yeah. And, I don't know, maybe it was for medicine or maybe it was for someone he liked. Like that fucking bitch who wouldn't stop talking about them. Sorry. Someone's missing. Is this his grave? Are we too late? What's the quest I'm on? What? 
Is he dead? Do I actually need to follow the pedals now? Um. The pedals, yeah, the pedals are here. More petal or more flowers. <sighs> I mean, uh. good job. I got no fucking clue where this kid is at. Where is guy? Okay. So is he down here? Cheek points. Like, I think what they're saying is that he was up there and he got dragged off. So he should be somewhere nearby. But I don't see any clues, like... Obviously not here. Dude. Dude. They're on the last pixel of the of the fucking walkway. Jesus. <laughs> what is a serious half? Uh, here you go. What is a scene to have? Like, people keep saying that, but I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Oh, there we go. I see. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Wait, what the fuck? How do you get it? So he, did he go down the bridge or no? Maybe not. Sing with me, sing for the year. Sing with the laughter, sing for the fear. Sing me with me if it's just for today, even maybe tomorrow. Something, something. Um. This motherfucker was dragged so far. This guy would be dead if he didn't have, like, the smallest brain but the biggest muscles. Probably the village idiot. That would make a lot of sense. That would, that would be... Yeah, he's probably, uh... The village idiot. Um... Where the fuck do these pedals go, dude? What do you fucking mean? What? You're telling me wolves dragged him this whole time? This whole way? What? There's no way.
This is ridiculous. These pedals are quick. Really, these pedals look really cool, though. And I'm assuming he, as he was being drug away, he he like broke the pedals in his hands, so that though he would lead a path to him, right? Because there's absolutely no fucking way anyone would find him otherwise. Maybe he's not the village idiot. That's crazy. Imagine being. That's crazy. That's definitely what happened, right? He was so sure. Or he, he didn't give up, even though he was being drug away by wolves this whole way somehow. He was uh, trying to plan ahead. It still doesn't make any fucking sense. The wolves would have killed him by now. Either way. Motherfucker had a ton of. That's not him. Dad! Dad! You're not him. Dad! <laughs> it's a Dragon Ball meme. Alright, where is this guy? I don't even know what his name is. Um, oh! Grass pattern camping kit. Um. Uh. So, I think we go this way, right? We go up? Yeah, what? Did I leave the cave? Or... Oh, what the fuck? I didn't go in the cave. I'm confused, whatever. How the f- <laughs> Oh, that one's just dead. That one got sniped. How the fuck are you still alive, dude? What's going on? How did I get here? Yeah, he's pathetic. I remember. Maybe they're like allergic to the plants. He's gonna give me like a banger right now. Watch, he's gonna be like, "Oh, the plants! It made them something." You saved me, nah. didn't you, sir? I, I can hardly believe it. Thank you. I would not be standing here without you. How did you know where I was? Did grandfather request your help? No, he's just a village idiot, and he's lucky. I suppose he must be worried sick about me. If it's all the same to you, sir, I think I'd like to go home now. Where, well, where, well, my fucking problems? Kid better keep up. I am not coming back for him. I'm not even turning around. He can follow me if he if he thinks he can keep up. Otherwise, good fucking luck, kid. Some might call it tough love. But there ain't nothing loving about it. So I guess it is like tough love. And that hobgoblin was like, thank you, I'm saved. And I'm like, oh, I wouldn't say saved. More like dead <laughs> or whatever. God damn. They also made her run like that, which is really funny.
Oh, I thought that was a fucking hobgoblin. What's up, babe? Joker. <laughs> what the fuck? Camp in Vernworth three times? Excluding twice in a row for 10,000 gold. Are you kidding? That's crazy. Why? She's pretty. And she's not dressed like a slut, so... Look at her pants. If I can put these things on. And dude's got glowing weapons. That's so fucking. That's so badass. He's just walking through the forest alone. He's begging someone to fuck with him. <laughs> Eyes on the prize, yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> oh shit. What am I talking about? Like, what? You guys need to dress your pawns better. Oh. What is that? Whatever. Come on, kid. Keep up. Oh my god. A fucking grenade at her? Man, I wish I had better snacks. It is 12 in the morning, or 12 a.m. right now. I can't really go to like a, a, a grocery store and get snacks at the moment. It sucks. Like, I go to a convenience store, but those are overpriced and it's a bit uncomfortable. It's awkward, you know. I have hot Cheetos, but I want to eat a snack that doesn't like attack me as I eat it. You know what I mean? <laughs> hot Cheetos aren't exactly spicy though, but like I I got the you know the black bag, but it's like extra spicy. Those ones are as spicy as I seem to remember them being when I was younger. And like the regular ones aren't really that spicy. They're just they're just nice. I guess. I don't really like spicy stuff in general though. Could it be if I cannot dissuade you? Oh, he's not an actual merchant. Hey, what's up? How's it going? You haven't worn those pants yet, have you? That's alright, let's go get that done. Hello. Need anything? I'm gonna Many wait thanks. for the quest to complete so that I can get like a Got to keep it together. Like a like a discount from his store or something for saving his kid. 
Rog? Rog, is that you, my boy? Hello, Grandfather. It is a miracle. You're alive and in one piece. Now he's in Dragon Ball. You're smothering me. Oh, hush. You don't get to complain of such things after you worried me half to death. Not food that fights back, yeah. Are the pawns you pass by from players or just generated by the game? Uh, both. For the most part, it's going to be from players, but every now and then you'll see one from Capcom. Or, at least in the beginning, I'm not really sure. There's, um, these nodes that you can find throughout the world, and, like, they'll give you a Capcom pawn that's usually a higher level for free. Make salted notes with some M&Ms. It goes really hard. Nice. Chessy! I love your profile picture. I love Nichijo. Hi, are you having fun? I love this game so far. Yeah, it's really good. Very sorry, I'm having a good time. I didn't mean it's a to lot of fun. You grief. And you? Words alone will never um, I never really played the first one, but this one's really good. My gratitude. I am truly in your debt. Pray take this. Tis not but a trifle in comparison to your kindness, but I hope you will accept it all the same. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for saving me. Long as I live, I shall ne'er forget this. Long as I, long as I live, I. Long as. I That's why I saved your kids, so you're not gonna sell shit to me now. Fading well, I hope. Long as I live, I shall ne'er. Don't worry yourself, my. Oh my God. I wonder if I can find better shit here. Hello there, sir. What can I do you for? Not that I really need to ask. Holy shit, is that Bangalore Apex Legends? Ah, oh, there's always demand for weapons. But oh fuck. Oh my god. Oh shit. Spite. Oh my god, dude. Nice. Jesus. Daggers fashioned from Saurian skin, bone, and fang. Remember when I was talking earlier about like how Saurians probably have their own lives and we just fucking make an entire weapon with their body it's fucking brutal ooh ooh Particularly near the border, where quarrels occur every. Do you come again? Oh, 
Greeting, we see a great many customers given our location. Where's the looking to gain entry to Murden's Manor? Are you good luck? What first, he'll sweep you a look from head to toe, then he'll ask, Oh, that how you present yourself when visiting someone and slam the door in your face. That pawns, you'd think he'd know not to expect noble manners from us common folk. Okay. I assume he wants me to be like spiffing before I show up. Probably one of those fucking weirdos. Welcome, sir. After all, tis folly to linger on a single vocation when there are. S <laughs> this is literally a great sword. Hmm. Oh jeez. Hey guys, I'm back. Still playing. Yep. Did they add Bloodbath Plesioth to the game? Nope. British. Wait, they add Plesioth and Dragon Dogma? No, that'd be nice. Nuts from Berserker. So many excited do come again. Um, this is all nice, but like, I need. Shit. I need. Organized storage, dude. Is the. The inn. Is the inn upstairs? Like, I don't. I don't. Take a better mind than mine to solve this. Is this not a, an inn? We see a great many customers given our location. Okay. So Whatever. Oh, it's upstairs up here. Jeez, that's confusing. Interested in my words? The sovereign's retinue makes to fell the Okay, Prince. Ooh. About to look baller. Dragon at last.
Many thanks. <laughs> Not like stupid. The sovereign's retinue makes to fell the just, just take the normal one. Dragon at last. Leisure doing bit. Sovereign's retinue makes to Yep. I don't need the mask either. It's so stupid you can't put shit away oh, if you have it equipped. Get a back out, go to your equipment, unequip it, then you can fucking put it in the their shit. Sovereign's retinue makes to Just makes an already oh, annoying you know, thing of Last. Managing your inventory Pleasure even more annoying. Oops. Right. So can I just use this thing again? Oh. Jeez. Price us. That's for where to look. You could try on. Sir Murden stopped taking visitors after his lady wife part. He's not the friendliest of neighbors. Okay, I don't care. Right, I need to stop getting sidetracked. I need to go south. How do I get through town? Need, anything? Need to get out of town. Is it Dark Souls Helm? Yeah. Yeah, when I when I give away the the cheek lady, I, I give her some pants. <laughs> it's the least I could do. It's the, it's the thing she most needed. Oh my god! I don't believe I have. Be gone! I have no hospitality. I'm gonna kill that guy. How do I get out of here? Oh, there's a main road? Holy shit. Alright. Sometimes you gotta go back to go forward. What can I buy from you now? Oh my god. I, I actually think that quest, like, makes it so you can't buy from that shop anymore. <laughs> How might I be of service? Hey there. Alright, well, I was gonna call her cute. But now I know she's hot. Jeez, I go all the way around just for this. What a weird town. Hello. One access, please. Merchant, eh? 
Have you an entry permit? Yep. Hold a moment. That cart has priority. Lord Phasus is come! Oh. Open the gates! He is come. <laughs> okay. You telling me he's awake the whole time? What a psychopath. So, you seek to enter, but oi! This isn't yours. I gotta beat the shit out of this guy. No witnesses. Fang, watch for watch for people coming out while I'm jumping this guy. <laughs> wow. I think you just cycle through some, like, looks like three animation groups. I really like that one. Yeah, that's cool. And then... Stone Splitter. Nice. It's probably a timed thing. Let's see. Yeah. I'm assuming you get more damage. Maybe? Maybe there's something I'm not doing right, or maybe that's just it. Yeah, that was like maybe one frame away. I don't know. I mean, if there is, then I don't think. No, I don't think there is, because I, I think that was pretty perfect. I don't know. Maybe it just tells you when, when you have your charge complete, but I don't think there's like a sweet timing. What the fuck is this? To get up there? Is that a jump you can make? No. Flashbang. Ah! It really is a flashbang. What do I do? So, oi! This is... His use is restricted to beast runs. Fang. I need you to pretend to, to pretend to be a real person. Is this icon? Ow. Welcome, sir. Con if you think me a liar, then buy some. Oh, it's a scrap shop. Are you fucking kidding me? Yikes, dude. Oh. Oh, there's the jadeite orb. Fear 
yourself. <laughs> ah, I see you desire one of my masterpieces. Very well. Oh, yeah. You can... Like, I don't know why you... I don't, I don't know. Well, I guess I know why. If you if someone wants something for a quest reward, I think you can come here and like get a fake of it or something like that. I don't know. That's weird. Many thanks to you. Well, I need my. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Do you think, like, if somebody, like, if for a pawn request, you could give away a fairy stone, but it's just a fucking, it's just a forged item? Welcome. You think me a liar? Eighty-seven thousand gold. How am I going to get that much money? Something and see the truth. Call on me if ever you're in need. Hope to see you again. Maybe I go kill stuff. Tell me, in your comings and goings, did you happen to encounter a man by the name of Offold? No idea. He seems to have vanished while in possession of a treasure known as the Jadeite Orb. My fellow merchants are scouring the city. If he has climbing speed, animation, yeah. But have had no luck as yet. And if I may be candid, our primary concern is not the merchant, but rather the orb. Tis an item of precious importance to myself and my partners, you see. I must see it reclaimed. Post haste, and in my hour of need, who should wander by? Who the fuck are you? What say you, sir? Would you be so kind as to seek out the Jadeite orb on my behalf? Oh, of course. How do you know? Will be I don't like this guy. For your service. Of that, I can assure you. I'm gonna kill that guy. What was I doing? I need money. I'm gonna go kill stuff. Oh! Thank you. Catch me. Oh. I wonder from how high you can have a pawn catch you. Can you leave a pawn at the bottom of a, a building, climb to the top and jump off? in here hmm, I don't care oh that's sick Oh god.
Oh, that's what that sound is. Jeez. Oh, shit. What? Oh, come on. Jeez. Man, zombies don't fuck around. Um... Was that a mimic enemy? Holy shit, that should have done so much more damage. This isn't good. Oh god. Come on. Ar what do I have an archer for if she's not gonna shoot the fucking harpies? I'm glad the ogre's being so patient with me. I should have done so much more damage. We can charge those abilities too. That's cool. No! What do you gain by fleeing? <laughs> My hat looks dumb. What, what am I doing? What am I doing? I need money. I need more money. Need Eighty four thousand for the beast and mask. Strongest warrior class versus weakest flying mob. Yeah, for real. Ready to take down first time to and portable third. I mean, I don't really care enough to do it, honestly, but I guess I'll probably do it eventually. Like, if I need something to do. Like with the Freedom Unite Tigrex early kill. It's really cool how I seem to inspire some. <laughs> I seem to inspire some people doing it though. That was really awesome. I'm dead.
Jeez. There's this door again. EP headhunter. I don't know. I feel. I feel like. It makes me like tired, but like not in it's not in the sense that I want to go to sleep. If that makes sense. <sighs> that being said, I am yawning. But like, after this, I just want to watch YouTube and eat snacks. I just wish I had more snacks. I don't really have too many materials. I guess I could probably, yeah, never mind. I could probably just go to my storage, take out some monster materials, and sell them. <laughs> Tale as old as time, huh? Especially considering I can only hold 99 of something. So I might as well sell like 50 goblin horns. That'd be like, what, 900 gold or something? There's a cave here. This this is cool. Caves are cool. They're scary, but they're cool. The sovereign's retinue makes to fell the dragon at last. It's a remarkable. Recovery, really. The man was pleasure doing business. Anything? Now I can buy from him. And he does have a discount. Like I knew he would. Oh shit. Yo. Yo. This guy sells some good shit. I mean. Oh, you know what? I should probably have some waking powder. <laughs> Considering how much trouble I have with the harpies, you never know. It's so honestly probably not a bad idea to have some of these just in general. Oh well. Why did I buy stuff? I need to be I need more money, not less. Fuck, that's not enough. Oh my god, I'm so close. Uh It's 
enough. Stop by again soon. Where's uh Well, if you think me a liar, then... Then... Oh, it's 87. Well, let's see. Yeah. Many thanks to you. Fang's gonna look at me and be like... Damn, bitch, where are you from? What if I give the beast run mask to Fang? Enter Batal, I presume. Go on through. <laughs> Pass through the gate at the border. God, that's psychotic. Oh fuck, that's terrifying. Honestly, <laughs> wearing the face of someone else. Jeez, dude. Interested in my wares? Looking to lay your head? We've so. Beds are plenty. Many thanks. What? Oh my god. I wanted to sprint and my character went to go sit. That's one of the problems of this game. What the fuck? Food? Have you any food? Many thanks. I'm still very hungry. Me, 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 me. Is that mask considered insensitive? I mean, it, it is made out of beast run skin. <laughs> like, it's just the face of someone. It's crazy. It's, it's, it's offensive. It's as offensive as it is psychotic. Just imagine wearing the face of a human. You know what I mean? It's fucking crazy, dude. I know my pawns are- oh shit! It's the wild spire wastes! Okay, actually though. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go find uh, Baroth. Holy fuck. Now oh, that's a vista. So, after breaking free of the chains of slavery that once bound you to this land, you return. This I don't is I don't like this guy's voice. To see that you are fulfilling your charge. That guy? Now, it would be advantageous for you and your pawn. Methinks tis where you will find that which you see. Um. Sure. Ah, 
<laughs> oh. Knacker. All right. First they're called choppers, and I, I say nothing, but these are called knackers. You're taking the piss. Oh my god! Jeez. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh shit. I thought she was still alive. Barothia. Because we look like we're in the wild spire waste, but like 4k. I'm gonna find Ijiro Totus. Oh, come on. I'm blighted. Yeah, so far, Warrior seems like it's really slow with not really enough payoff, but maybe when I, maybe when I unlock some more abilities, like core, core abilities and like...
That guy got bullied, dude, and it wasn't just me. I think it, maybe he owed that guy money or something. Oh, fuck. Oops. Jesus, am I in Vietnam? I don't mean that to be disrespectful. Not Vietnam. For some reason, the interior of that reminded me of like... You know, like the caves... The cave systems that would be in some like military shooters. This is like the Middle East, which is, you know, I mean, obviously... San Diego. You know the thing that they always do when, they, when they're, it's like in a Middle Eastern area and they add... They always give the same music for the area and like same color filter same thing with mexico Didn't mexico have like a green filter or some shit or is that just because of breaking bad or something i don't know <laughs> oh my god that's sick I'm just- oh yeah, okay. I should get on the main road. Three AM humor. <laughs> no, three AM humor is is answering the imposter among us phone call at three AM. Gone sexual. I drank the baby long legs potion and turned into baby long legs at 3 a.m. He said, spare me, I'll do anything. And we still killed him. Oh! That's so sick. Oh, shit. Footsies. God damn. Dog was sent fucking rolling, dude. That's crazy. Oh, here we go. Just follow this road. Someone needs help? Hmm. We've got them on the run. They are running. This area kind of reminds me of like Diablo. Because of all the beasties.
I feel like Warrior is just too slow. Maybe I'll unlock something that'll change my mind. That's interesting. Oh shit. I didn't know they could do that. We normally kill them so fast. Yeah, it's a subspecies. Oh! I don't like our odds, and I don't, I don't feel comfortable using Warrior just yet. Yeah, Golem. Normally I'd be so down. But... This game be... This game be hitting different when I'm not using Thief. God. Now these guys are actually like posing a challenge. Jesus. Oh. Oh, that's really bad.
Jesus, can I rest now? <laughs> oh, that's a nice camp. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> Neat. Neat meat. Yeah, these environments look nice. For the context. Oh god, what now? Cyclops? Oh shit. What the fuck? Let's just keep going. How much does this do? Nothing. Let's leave. I think it might have hit his armor or something, but still. Jeez, really? Dude, this, these, this tune, this, these tunes, this music is really good. Power lines? <laughs> I don't think they are. Maybe like a pulley system or something. Crumbling rooms. Really? No one left behind. Jesus. Help? Motherfucker. Behind. Are you fucking kidding me? Thanks. Also, in our wild leaked areas. Yeah, this is the uh, <clears throat> sixth generation wild spire wastes. We got these an annoying little fucking wing drakes here. They won't leave me alone. They're like cliff racers. I just aged myself. Or dated myself. No one else will date me. 
Uh huh. Uh huh. Yo, what's up? <laughs> Hello, yes, I would like. <sighs> I would like an alcohol, please. What do you do? <laughs> the harpy's still here. I just took a nap. What business have you here? Does that make you the arisen? Hey, yo. Be at ease. I bear you no ill will. My name is Manella, and I have the honor of serving as a go-between twixt Her Majesty and the Guard. She kind of bad, though. Let me buy you a drink. We've much to discuss, and I don't fancy standing round all the while. Shall we make for the tavern? This tavern is open to travel. Aye, even pawns. So long as they've coined for their ale. So I think that'll be it for this stream. <laughs> it's been a bit... How long has it been? A while. Whatever. Um, I'm gonna watch more YouTube and eat some snacks until I go to sleep. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you. Hope you're having a great morning, afternoon, or evening. Um, if you haven't f followed or if you haven't subscribed yet or liked the, the stream yet, feel free to do that now. I appreciate it. There are links down below to my Twitter, Twitch, and Discord if you'd like to follow me or join us, that'd be cool. Other than that, um, next video should be Portable 3rd Volvodon with Light Bow Gun. And whatever else I have time- would you stop talking? Oh my god. Whatever else I have time for. So, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great night. Or whatever. <laughs> Alright. Bye-bye. Oh. Stop that.